Yeah. Hello, internet. Welcome to a game of Bondaraf with another missing player. Do <laughs> <laughs> you think our consistency is our inconsistency? <laughs> ah, exactly. But in, in saying that, the structure of the system is built around just us turning up and playing, and so those who are missing miss out on free things. <laughs> I, I, I've decided I'm going to actually give gifts to players that can turn up. Yay! I will bribe you to come. <laughs> and I don't friends. know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bribe you to come and be my friend. Be my yeah. No, there, there are reasons people can't make it, which is fine. It's not held against them as long as I'm given instructions from players. They them. figure out what's going on. No excuse. <laughs> but today is going to be a little different, and it'll be revealed as it goes through. Until then, roll intro. nothing wrong everything is fine welcome that's what my parents said about me <laughs> <laughs> ah there's nothing Matt. wrong everything's okay good welcome is, 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 <laughs> is this henry or johnny both <laughs> and that's when the dungeon master said roll for deception <laughs> <laughs> roll for <And> heartache <laughs> anyway so last game the party uh <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, oh, I just remembered last session. That was fuck uppery. Anyway, <laughs> so the the last game we started with the conversation at the table of the the break area with Seven, Aaron, Johnny, uh, Monty, and um, Dio, and a few skeletons who helped feed them. Um, they basically grilled Seven into getting information out of him, and more or less got nothing useful because. Seven didn't really know much about what was going on, but they, they got a bit more world information from things and sort of queried things and stuff. Uh, they then reunited with the rest of the party, and Fitz immediately gave a bag of bees to Johnny. That's right. <laughs> um, didn't get stung, was able to avoid it. Uh, the party then made their way slowly out of uh, Dante's lab, um, checking out the rooms that they missed on their way up and uh, pocket, pocket hauling the remaining Warforges that basically had just gone into a standby mode because no one could reprogram them. And, and because Fitz wants to take them apart. Fitz wanted to take Kill them apart. Him. You, um, he can do that now and I have to... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's alright. I'll just pick up bits of tabaxi in case he loses an arm. <laughs> 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 well, you can just flop it to back and see how many slap, 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 slap. Would you like another arm? Anyway. <laughs> um, you are the, injured, Fitz. Here, let me replace your arm. <laughs> the, the party made their Here's way... A job. <laughs> the party made their way back up to the first floor of the um, lab and discovered that Bones had dug out basically all the remaining rubble that was there. Bones because he'd spent about nine plus hours just digging and doing nothing else. Good boy. His hands are nothing but nubs. <laughs> uh, l- luggage then reactivated his spell on him so that they regained another 24 hours control over him and allowed Johnny to give it commands, to which they immediately put, drew a face of confusion onto him. And so now Bones Chillington has a consistent face of... <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, <laughs> perplexed. Yep. Uh, That's his nickname. As, as, as they left the lab, the party was greeted by spectral beings that gifted them uh, a dead duck, a 
couple of twigs and some silver thorns. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was Bones Tillington that I drew. That's, anyway. that's, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks with his chin. <laughs> uh, the, the party then wandered back towards Silverthorn, uh, stopping off at a bar, doing some gambling, uh, beating up public, taking things from some people, and watching a very crude variation of a journey that only Fitz recognised, and Drew and Luggage weren't really paying attention I'm, to. I'm glad Drew wasn't in that thing, because Drew would have gotten up stay, on stage and probably started correcting everything in the, the middle of it. In the beginning, God created <laughs> Me and no one else. <laughs> uh, it, yep. So the party is aware that some of the antics has been noted and seems to be turning into a story somewhere. Uh, they then made their way back to Silverthorn Village where they promptly were paid with the magic rock that Johnny had convinced uh, John the 7th was what they wanted. John, John, John. John, John. There was a conversation <laughs> between John and John. <laughs> I thought it was John the Eighth, and then there was. No, John the Eighth is the old one. John the Seventh is the one that Johnny had been talking to. But well, wouldn't John the Seventh be the old one? John the Eighth be the because the, the yeah. No, yeah. The no. older one would have had the number first, meaning sure. that they would be seven. The younger one would be eight. Yeah, he but he after. said that he said the older one was eight and the younger one was seven. That's why I was. Mix around. Anyway, we know, who, we, we know who you were talking to. You were talking to the younger one. John, John, John. Child, there was you were talking to Junior. Talking. Even the Johns don't know which number they are. John, no. John. Are what you number my am dad? I? No, you're my brother. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm in the um, middle. What am I? <laughs> uh, there was a small I'm rumor talking about a barbarian causing a ruckus in the village. Dio freaked out and discovered my that, baby. that yeah. um, Bark had been summoning ducks, mm -hmm. and they had discovered that his sword has the ability to conjure animals, and has been conjuring ducks, and gone into a state of euphoria as these ducks have just been wandering about. Can we make a slight well, change there? Can it not create ducks, but take ducks from other places and bring them to him? I have been discussing that with a few different people around the mechanics of behind it. I will not reveal the mechanics behind it. <laughs> There's like a duck shortage and there's like a worm in the station some village. The there's whole, too many worms! It's just a duck dimension. <laughs> there's like a village that's like, where did all our ducks go? <laughs> but yeah, I freaked out because the DM was, I was fucking watching. egging me on. <laughs> going, watching. he's gonna die. I'm like, if you fucking kill him, I will cry and I will not speak. <laughs> For like three sessions. And then he died. Um, Luggage would have laid, have laid down his life for him. So would have I. I would have just killed my character if I had to. Aaron doesn't know about it, so... Uh, after some random conversations playing an airship, the party decided to make their way back to the mansion, to which uh, they met up with MacArthur, who has started to plant more scuba plants <laughs> and brew more things. Like and, a few, and a few more um, hedges have been added to his hedge... I'd say farm is probably not right. His <laughs> maze? His wall? His, He's, he's making sculptures out of hedges. I don't hedge know monuments. Mm. Yeah, hedge, hedge monuments. Topiaries. Yep. It's topiary garden. Um, and then the party wandered down into the basement, or at least most of the party wandered down to the basement where Johnny placed the last piece of core into the Jeeves core system and it reset itself and was able to reveal a bit more information about things and made a comment about how the fact that it had control over some drone somewhere but didn't quite know where the drone actually was because it was dark. And that was where we left off. That's right. He said he found a dude that he could be. He, he found... he found his, his app description was, I can remotely control a humanoid figure-based drone. Luggage? Very much like it's luggage. Not, it's can not I roll for I penis? It does that big of a penis. <laughs> could we open the... Hole. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a napkin, so you just flick it out. And it opens oh, that hole. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought you meant Johnny. Yeah, no, Johnny, his eyes get like real big. He's like, oh, it's finally happening. Oh, you mean that? Yes. <laughs> Johnny's hole. A oh. portable hole. My eyes are like, oh, finally. And I just start lubing myself. <laughs> <laughs> I am the slip and slide. Um, Possibly. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming it's somewhere in this house at least, but the, the irony and possible thing is Sam, it could have been one of the Warforged that was down there, so it's worth looking. No, it's in there. Um, 
it's spicy. And then well, there isn't a room in the corridor area you guys are in to open up the bag, the, the open up the portable hole. Can we put it over, like on a wall? No, it has to be on a flat surface. Yeah. Oh, okay. And flat wall. Yeah, flat wall. <laughs> I feel like that's gonna tip out of a very bad surface. You have to be able to have it lay out. So if you try and put it up, but you could just stick some like wallpaper paste. <laughs> You and guys, you're overcomplicating this. You would have to tape it, yes, but yeah. instead we can just walk out into the uh, <laughs> foyer. Yeah, the, fo- the foyer area. Where all the stairs are and just flick. But then how do you bring it with you? Do you just tuck you it fold in it up and it. You tuck it in on itself. But you yes. literally fold it into you a You fold it into a napkin. Yeah. You grab the corner of the hole and go, huh, and it folds. Hmm. Yeah, it becomes it's like magic. this big. Yeah, it's like just this big. I don't like... Smile and wave, boys. Classic monk doesn't like magic. <laughs> Has an incorporeal arms. Doesn't I'll give criticize that at all. Take his chests and drop them off in Drew's room because it's very awkward carrying large chests around. <laughs> I assumed he'd done that when they if, first got in. Could he even get through that corner? That no, he wouldn't have been able to say. He would have left them in the foyer. So, yeah. so he'll probably go and tidy up that while trying to figure out how to locate. Can he? Ge- he can't echo locate or geo locate it, can he? Is it in? Does we have a better question? Does he know if it's in the house? Has anyone asked him this? I'm asking him this question. No, it's <laughs> not in the house. It's nearby one of the teleporter pads. Oh. Which teleporter? He won't know that. You don't even know. Oh, wait, no, his, his, his response is: Go to the map room, and I can show you. Oh, okay. What's a map room? It's down. That's what. You're, <laughs> not, <laughs> your luggage You're not in you this conversation. <laughs> Me and luggage are. No, I, I know. Luggage leads to it. It's down here to. The yeah. as, I'm as, with you. As, as you guys you. are leaving, Seven and Aaron are in the middle of following, and uh, Jeeves appears in front of you too and goes, "Your usernames have updated. You've, you're travelers, but you're not travelers anymore. Do you want to be updated to the same system as everyone else that's here? They can, they can be on everything but the core three. Thank you very much. Core so, three. <laughs> the, the three of us that arrived in the first. Wait, did you arrive in the first place? I think no. it was just me no. yeah. Yeah, ju- yeah, it was just yeah, it was just you three. The, 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 the masters the, of the house. The I'm the first users. DLC yeah. character. <laughs> <laughs> Put me down as an original the first user. bloody companion. <laughs> up and he's a chaotic little bastard. Yeah. Roll, roll Came me with two idiots and one of them was a bad guy. We need to hand some dice to. Yeah, sorry. The diceless monkey. Who so owns diceless monkeys? The dice is the one that you have here. Dice. Wait, beat for the wall. Apparently they cursed anyway, so I don't. No, I threw that one out. Oh, the, the, the cursed dice has been played with by our cat. Ah, <laughs> kitty! Kitty! Persuasion, did you say? Yes. You're trying to persuade something that has a quarter record. 17. He looks at you and just goes... Hmm, and then vanishes. <laughs> <laughs> and then we, I assume, arrive downstairs as he appears? <laughs> no, he just, he just, just nods and then vanishes. That's... As you're walking out, you see behind you the rock when you first hit the rock, and it sort of looks like it's loading. Obviously, he's not there. Cool. How, um. Is it dialogue? Does it look, uh, <laughs> What's that? How complete does it look, by the way? It's something I've It looks like it's about half the. of it still missing. So we've got half the gauntlet. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm just curious as to how much more there is to find. That's that a bit, um, when are we finished? When do I explode? <laughs> <laughs> just more of a. Um, you're keeping progress on it because that means Steve's got a lot more shit he can do, which is very entertaining. Next um, last piece gets put on Jeeves becomes sentient and kills us all. <laughs> Jeeves is already technically sentient. Yeah. No, like fully sentient. He's he, smarter than me. He not only <laughs> takes control of the one little uh, robot that he's got, but also takes control of every single Warforge that fits created. Technically, oh, no. the way he's made, he is sentient, right? Because they get a soul yeah. put into it, is it? Yeah. Um, yeah, technically the way that, that, that Jeeves Call was made, yes. Yeah. Although, if you start He's very to... head, a sentient. I want to be a Jeeves Call. No one as knows as you guys are talking before. about him, he goes, I believe my first three acronyms are actually Sir now. Ah, oh, Sir. The service Information Repair. Sir Jeeves! So, so, uh, Jeeves, what was the original uh, function of this place, if you remember? It was a junction operation. We, uh, I was to operate transporting people from location to location. I, I, oh, I never ever got to see what the junction looked like. No, my prime objective was to allow project things to go from A to B. I, 
I guess on the, a user system, you would have never had the authority to enter the repair zone. <laughs> no. Uh, Logan has somehow got a look of confusion on his face. No, I'm just a little this, this school. This was Boone's house. Huh? Uh, correct. Yes, Gary Boone uh, he, was he a made, He made house, did he not? Uh, incorrect. The house was here before Gary Boone. Ah. <gasps> Gar- Gary Boone was a resident before you. Ah. Ah. Who's Gary Boone? The Boone starts uh, life of oh, Drew. As we're walking. Yeah. Is it, no, Gary. Well, yes, he is part of the past lives of Drew. Yep. Yep. Can we Gary. put in the notebook the Boone stuff? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot of interesting things about Boone. Yeah, that's what made him the Boone stuff. <laughs> Ask him. Is he the Boone stuff now? You can call him the Boone stuff if you want to. But <laughs> you I can, but he isn't. I'm going to roll to gaslight this. <laughs> <laughs> you can give it a go, Boone but Boone Drew will forever know that's incorrect because Drew can physically, can mentally talk to Gary. And luggage will just. Gary goes, Oh, I like the sound of that. I'm the yes, boots I am the boots. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to gaslight him to like the name. <laughs> You'll have to t- get Drew to channel, it. To channel Boone. <laughs> That's a conversation. Change his own name. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be that powerful. He wants to call you Boots. <laughs> what? No, I didn't think so. He says no. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be so precise. This is like Fallout if I get a bunch of booze, like, I'm more charismatic. A nat 20 on a dis- double disadvantage persuasion <laughs> roll, maybe? Yeah, a yeah, nat yeah. 20 on a double disadvantage would make him contemplate it. <laughs> um, what about Ga- with encouragement? Ga- <laughs> can Johnny roll me a history at advantage? Because I feel like he would be aware of this. Oh, that's unusual. Mm. Maybe some of them. <laughs> advantage. Nat one. Oh man, I, can I just have the net one? <laughs> okay, that's that, way what is history? <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, oh, that's a thing. Yeah, yeah that's, wrong, a, that's wrong, why he calls him the boomster. Yeah, hundred. Yeah, hundred. Oh fuck! No, a different one. It's uh, sixty-four. Should have been sixty man. I think that no might like change my gender or something. <laughs> That can give us an anti-magic field inside this house. <laughs> oh, oh no! No, that's what he's casting. It turns it's back to a college. <laughs> yes, sixty-four. Yeah. So Johnny is walking with you guys, and he's like, mm, Gary, and then suddenly turns into an octopus. <laughs> Do I know sign language? Does he need to get put in water? No, octopus is uh, both. Yeah. So he, no, just, he, just, he just drops to the ground. Am I like average size octopus? I think I think, I think octopus is. Uh, you're just just an octopus. Yeah. How many tentacles do I have? Well, eight. What octopus. did you do to yourself? I say <laughs> mentally to him. I spit ink at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, uh, yeah. Yep. It's a con, a dick save of some shit. I would say. No, it's a three. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a miss. It's fine. <laughs> I would have thought that's the that and that sort of grapple was like but anyway yeah, you nice. know you, you, you get this little sweet. hook beat now <laughs> he, he, go, he goes he goes to spit um, I have a you. big and, 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 and as he goes to spit he just sort of rocks like this and just goes and just spits into the ground I make the side of I don't have lips what are lips yeah you do that to me what are lips <laughs> both don't have lips <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> As you're holding them, suddenly he's Johnny again. Oh my god, my head! Let uh, go give, of my give head. me a strength save because you're currently holding him. <laughs> what body part is he holding him by? Oh no! <laughs> it simply depends if the strength save goes through. Oh no! no. <laughs> by his schlong. <laughs> it was one of the tentacles. I thought he had me by the head. No. If he had, yeah, because yeah, if I, he, I grabbed the top. Of oh the yeah, so he'd be holding him by the head then. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it depends how much hair he's holding. Uh, Oh my God. Do you flex oh, your oh, grip or do you just stay rigid? Johnny becomes bald. Oh. <laughs> All of his hair is ripped out. Uh, your fingers just kind of slide through. You have this feeling of like a scraping this as oh, like his, finger, his, his fingers scrape your horn a little bit. Oh. And you just go boom, onto the ground. Also, my horns grow back. That's a weird sensation. <laughs> what, what are these flaky things? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He doesn't shampoo enough. <laughs> what is the chomp, poo? Chomp, chomp. <laughs> is there a room? As, as you guys want to back down to the, the main room. teleporter room and then up to like this bookshelf thing and Drew sort of smacks something on the wall and it sort of opens up and reveals like this massive sort of meeting room 
with this table in the middle, and Jeeves appears on the other Avengers side of the room. Symbol. It's probably the easy way of describing it, yeah. Yeah. And he, he just appears at the table on the other side and goes, uh, The map is here, dear. Aye, show me where. And so you walk to this table that's in the middle of the room, and this is more or less a sort of grayscale, like there's a physical map sitting in front. Okay. And he goes, Well, the teleporters are here, and a light appears here, 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 here. Uh, you should just mark these on the map. <laughs> I actually have, I have a on. physical image. I I will flick it to you guys a bit later. Yeah. My computer's not being stupid, but it, ba- it basically lights up a bunch of locations on there. Okay. And I can bring out that extra screen for you. And which one yeah. was the one that you said was near the, the, the drone? Uh, this one. And this light appears. But this light is a. Uh, this teleporter light also has a slight red glow to it. Okay. What What's does the, the red glow mean? Function? What's the drone doing in the Melbourne Island? Uh. Error. Error. We talked about how I was at Optimus. Where are second. we? <laughs> we're, we're here. And then the light appears there. Like Jesus it. Christ. I like my teleporter. Oh my god. Oh no, I'm going to lose all those rooms. I'm going to have to teach someone then. Guys, is it weird that I miss my beak? <laughs> no, it's particular things that you have to write to actually make it work. Just write them down, give it to him, he can do something useful for once. Here's the magic. Here's the technique. <laughs> um, Aaron, you are aware of a few of these rooms already. Cool. So just but, give him uh, them. Uh, yeah, if you, if you, if if luggage talks to Aaron, uh, then yeah, there, there's uh, no issue with Aaron understanding. At some these point, rooms. I will need to give you these so that, because I mean, that literally is my way Then he'll be us, useful. Yeah. <laughs> you guys having an intelligent conversation? I'm looking at my hands, going, I'm missing tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want two you, fingers. I assume it is malfunctioned by red light. Broken. No. Uh, that is a, and then he vanishes and then reappears and goes. Corrupt. It's not a malfunction. It's a point of power. Evil. Ah. But I am I'm I'm, I'm missing information on that. I am a point of power. Why is just, no, the, these like, are points yeah. of power, and <laughs> basically some of the locations where the teleporters light up have a different light going around them. Uh, up here, another point that's not near a teleporter glows sort of like a, a murky grey. Over here glows a blue. Down over here glows a green. This one glows red. Um, a sort of a lighter blue glows down here. And there's a browner one that sort of glows down over there. Am I correct in my assumption? Elemental. We've already talked about this at some point, so luggage should in theory know this. Um, that's Phoenix? Yes. Oh, right. And oh. so that would be. I'm assuming it's not this room, because that's just the no, water it, one. Um, Drew will immediately flick open a book and go, will this take me here? And at the back of one of the Gary Boone books is a room. A barista. <laughs> <laughs> Don't whisper in the background. And, 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 <laughs> mental slap. And Jeeves <laughs> goes, yes, uh, that particular room would take you to that location. Hmm. And that is where the drone currently is. But I would advise against it at the moment. As I have control over the drone, but it's almost like I'm moving it through through solid earth and things that breathe would probably die if they went there oh i'll be back <laughs> yeah <laughs> you go and just dig a hole for us it's in solid earth hmm. bones I chillington you're up <laughs> i think i need my old friend no i've got it just teleport a bomb like a jim bones chillington go off on an adventure together <laughs> as, wow. you're, as you're talking about this um jeeves goes I, i'd advise against a bomb if you disturb I'm not sure whether a bomb would disturb, but it could potentially break the portal and thus destroy protection. Jeeves, which is the closest portal to that portal? That's Sir Jeeves. We walk through that door right there. Yeah. All portals are interconnected. Like literally, walk through this door here. Luggage is pointing at the teleporter. I assume yeah, you can yeah, see the, the teleporter. Yeah, you can. Where you guys are standing, you can see the teleporter. It has a big T above it. <laughs> yeah, there is a te- there's a there's a teleporter pad, and next to the pad that. Is this what looks like an extra sketch kind of thing set up. This okay. makes sense because what? you're not magically attuned, so you wouldn't understand. This is good. No, hang on. I'm stuck on what extra sketch. What is this witchcraft? <laughs> I'll just punch what things. Extra sketch. I, I gave the description of extra sketch. Does that mean we have to tickle the knobs to work? No. <laughs> I've worked you over to it. Yep. I get them to stand in the center, <laughs> and I bring this one over and do the symbol for the uh, trial. Teleporter. And I turn <laughs> Which, to... Uh, the Neil Hart one? Yeah. To, okay. Just to show the thing a bit. I 
draw that, and then I look at um, Drew, who I put in there. Bring you, you bring them back. Let's see, etch a sketch. Draw us room. And, and then, it. who's standing on the teleporter when he does this? Everyone who will. <laughs> I'm not. I wasn't paying attention because I, mean, you I, understand, push. I understand so how it works. So Dio and Drew are standing on the teleporter. And Fitz probably nonchalantly walks over, not really paying attention, just stands there. And then you guys teleport to um, this random cave that you've never seen before. And you sort of look around a bit confused. And Fitz goes, Ah! Why are we here? Can, can we go back? And Drew sort of looks and goes, See, this is this is underneath Neil Hart. What is this witchcraft? It's a teleporter. It's a sketch teleporter. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and then Fitz wanders over and pulls out a, another green rock thing and just slams it on the teleporter and you guys reappear back in the basement. Everyone's got green rocks. <laughs> and the <laughs> ones who actually have control over the house have green rocks, yes. Can I roll an investigation <laughs> on the trial, the sketch? These are the trial ones. Yeah, these are the trial green rocks. Yeah, everyone so who's... He, he actually has one. Oh, I do. Yeah. I don't. That's, no, you I went don't. to the trial oh, yeah. before. We got, got your rock, <laughs> and then you got your ass kicked. <laughs> well, to be fair, if you say you got your ass kicked, that's a lot of times. <laughs> you if you said to a you won, lizard. I would be like, win? You turned to a lizard, would it? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> See, now that's <laughs> particular. He pleased his god. <laughs> I'm, I'm there in the corner studying the itch sketch <laughs> As you appear back. It looks like a, a sandbox. Studying the way of the itch sketch yeah. <laughs> See, itch sketch so, oh, I still don't get it. <laughs> mm, no. I draw and it's sand and it's. You draw a symbol. That's alright. I'm you not. That's not I go, it's alright, luggage. I'm never going to understand. <laughs> <laughs> it's not luggage. He's using you as his prop. Yeah. <laughs> for me. I am no prop. Um, I it's will. Racist. Yeah, okay. okay. Cool. So, obviously this is the centre, that's why we can do on multiple rooms, but this will take you, whenever you come to one of these outer teleporters, it takes you back to here. I'm just going to hyperventilate and get into a meditation a position and just sit there rooms? and hyperventilate. <laughs> Jeeves sick. vanishes for a second, and you it. hear the I sound... Yeah. I know, just uh, anyone who's down. paying attention can hear the sound of the clock I do the edges at this one. Well, as, 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 as you're sort of like going like this, sort of here. freaking out, and bursting here. into the room is MacArthur, and who's carrying some sort of plant, and sort of looks around okay. the room Which and sees you, and walks over to you, and just sort of hands you this plant. I don't want to give you anything. No, he would because you're freaking out the moment. He just wants you to eat the plant. You want me to eat okay. <laughs> it? Just eat it. You need to, first of all, you, sort of you need to start munching this. on this plant and it sort so of... So where do I get it? Break, it breaks it down, but there's, there's no mechanical effect to it other yeah, than maybe. like you feel a little bit yeah. calmer just eating this random plant. Ah, anti-anxiety, That's man. the trial. Basically, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And MacArthur sort of smiles and then looks at the rest of the room. Hey, MacArthur. Fist bump. Should have gone with him. Shaka-laka. Yes! A monk, like, huh? Did you just? I don't want to fight. <laughs> <laughs> you broke his head. Uh, <laughs> MacArthur looks down and there's just this bruise in his thumb, and he's just like, <laughs> bruised hand looks up. <laughs> he, he is not a fighter, and I tap his hand. I'm healing. Oh, I just go. That wasn't meant to hurt. Sorry. That's <laughs> uh, fine. I'm, I'm going back to my garden now. And turns around. Why are you doing that? <laughs> he just, just walks out. That's right, I was planning on changing all the spells. Um, I would like to convince this one to come through the teleporter room. Actually come through the teleporter. Okay. And it will take him to the trial and show him the big clip clack quarry rock. I'll help. <laughs> can I come and can I come and get a rock too? You can go, go back and then go back again. <laughs> I want a rock! So so li- luggage will teleport. Roll? As you're relatively new, and yeah. I mean, I'm, quite, I'm about as new as you. Well. I'm just you magical. are from my past, and I understand all the stuff behind you. That's you true. also know how to fix things like me, so you probably might know how to fix things like this place if it breaks. That's actually fair. Yeah. He's like, he, I have no he, you're a monk that punches things. He got one because he faced the trial. <laughs> <laughs> if you would like, Hang to on. face the trial, and we'll take an entire episode. I, to just I, have I am punch. not ready, Sensei. <laughs> no, you look at me and you said he faced the trial. Deception. I won. <laughs> <laughs> Two. <laughs> <laughs> and you see the fear in my eyes grow. <laughs> there is a rasping. Ah. 
Ah! Ah! No, you go, you remember the, the uh, trial, it's, right? It's, and I'm like, Johnny oh. English when his face just goes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So I'll take him in. Yeah, there, there, there's, there's no issue. You basically tele- you teleport in, you walk through this random sort of area, sort of looking at the, the, the disabled, like, non connected robot thing that you walk past, and luggage will inform you that's where Johnny died, and there's like a crater. <laughs> that's where Johnny died! <laughs> You're not wrong! He, he didn't succeed. <laughs> and there's a, there's a crater in the hole that looks. Oddly, Johnny. No, it looks, it looks lizard shaped. <laughs> no, 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 there was a lizard shaped like three days ago. <laughs> three days ago? It was probably about a week ago. It was about four about days ago. a week ago. Um, after picking it up, I will explain to you as we get there. This turns him on. This turns him on. As you see him, the, the glowy rock that you've now got, I tap it against, well, mine, tap it against the thing, and then it assemb- starts to assemble itself again. And then you can turn him off. Please that is how I saved John. Aaron, roll, roll me a history. Ooh, that's not good. Um, oh, 14? Oh, yeah, no, 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 14 will work. Um, no, sorry, that's 10, 11. Yeah. <laughs> no, I thought it was a 9 for <laughs> It's 11. Okay. Um, it's, it's a familiar process you've heard of, but you're not too sure what you're talking about. Cool. But it makes sense. You ah, you trials. Can see it build it. I tap it. You can see it building itself back up. I tap it again. You see it turn off. That yeah. Can, at least the you can't figure thing. out anything else based off your history on this. Anyway. This can be a defense mechanism for our house. Right. Trump we're we're when saying our house. I'm technically talking about the our mansion. House. <laughs> our house in the middle of no, the tower house. <laughs> <laughs> you have access to our house. You may come up. Look at this house. Not yours. Luggage hands you a contract. <laughs> <laughs> this is the roommate agreement. Please it is not written any more clearly. <laughs> <laughs> and it's about this book. Yeah. Oh, every, every, every when I signed it, I just started age. looking and going, yeah, oh, then yeah, yeah, probably yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I remember doing this in the castle. Yeah, 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 yeah. When do I get money? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you kill him. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so right. he'll, he'll take you around. Um, there is this sort of growing looking like rock that seems to be sort of protruding out of the wall. And you walk over and you sort of go to peel off, and the light sort of sh- culminates around your hand for the piece that you're grabbing. And it sort of just slices off like butter. Like and you just sort of pull it off. It's like, oh, okay. And you go to just curiously touch it again, and it zaps you while you're holding the rock. <coughs> Only one. <laughs> Can yes. I put one rock on the I, ground and then pick up I another already, one? As, as he does that, after experimenting, I already tried that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you see like a glowy, locked glowy rock sitting on the ground next to the glowy rock that you just put. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Only one. Okay. I'm assuming rock. that my rock, piece of rock would have still been on the ground somewhere. Yeah. No, no, no. And this one picked it up. Yeah. yeah. I like how luggage like tried that. Rock. It wasn't shiny. Of course shiny, I did. So. I, was, I got one. Two. We're going to hand one to someone else. You need to do one. Yeah, he tried to be helpful, and as he went off, it basically a DNA keyed to him. So each time he goes for one, he disables his other one. <laughs> if you lose your key, you can get another one. You just have to remember to come here. And I draw the symbol again in the air. I have given him the. Yep, one so that's that's part of the agreement. <laughs> <laughs> the rock. If you lose your key, you will pay us 4,000 gold to get a new one. <laughs> So oh, come on, bring, him, bring him back. Yep, you uh-huh. come back to the mansion. Uh, basically, Ren is still sitting in this basement area. This is how much space you have in the fridge. <laughs> fridge? <laughs> we have a cellar. Yeah. A cellar cool box. We nicknamed it fridge. <laughs> uh, while, while, while you're sitting there, um, Seven makes a comment about how he'll he wants to sort of explore this area for a bit and like not even paying attention to anyone's responses. You hear one footstep from him, and then none of you can see him. The just, home. Yeah. You you aren't or here. The, well, correct. No, this, 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 this is. I'm worried about him leaving the property and not being able to get back. He'll be fine. Don't worry. I wandered around lots as a child, and I turned out fine. I'm yes, sure but if you ever wandered lots around this forest, <laughs> you would get lost. It is protected. He's a level twenty. I'm sure you could get back. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> if he rolls a one, okay. continually we hear him get scream. Back. One of us will get him. I won't. Oh, fine. What type of forest is it? Like a, 
It's an overgrown oh. forest around the whole thing that seems to hide what's outside. Oh, okay. It's just a forest, but there's protection. That's the name of the forest? It's, it's just the forest. Actually, that's a good question. Jeez, have any more <clears throat> defences come back online? <clears throat> Other than this, and starts opening and closing doors, not much else is new. <laughs> <laughs> you can beat people up by shutting doors in their face. I know exactly where everyone is now. I, I, before I can only sort of motion track, but now I've got an exact location of everyone. And the help. Jeez, that's kind of stalkerish. You're inside me. How do you think I feel? <laughs> <Ay>. <laughs> <laughs> that's interesting. I've, I've not had that ability for an emotional reaction before. She's oh, getting recently. sassy. Also, what uh, the, monk is that sassy? The, 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 the more of my core is returning more of my functionality. I, I may have been sassy that. in my past. <laughs> I do not have Chief's just sassy? Awesome. I do not have emotional functionality. Perhaps part of my core is missing. You need to start acting like Hulk from... Uh, <laughs> what? Kind of? <laughs> Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Your half, <laughs> half of what Danda used to be? Hmm. Here's the heart. <laughs> and it's all piled into that little ball of rage. <laughs> I like rage. You like rage? You're a weird <laughs> monk. I thought monks are meant to be zen. Depends on the zen monk. with rage. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I will hate rage, every rage, rage, fucking rage. Oh. Um, I will be to, one with To hate. be fair, Dio's master is one part barbarian, one part monk. Oh, well, that makes a lot more sense. Who <laughs> <laughs> hates right. fire? We, we have not found where the our mission didn't finish. No. Like we've just kind of had that in the back of his head for the past day or so. Yeah. There was no one down there. But from Seven. Yes, who mm. is not Fred, who is friend. What was the mission? I was away that day. <laughs> I, 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 I was away that day, so, so I didn't we the were sent to follow up after the attack. We'd gotten from Dark. Dark? No. No, no Van. Van. Um, Mark no. had told us there was a. No. Um, one of the scouts from the city had told you that there was a camp north. Okay. And you guys were sent out. And you guys were sent to scout out the camp. Yeah. Um, Vandal was in charge, was given this task and decided to recruit the use of you guys because he trusted you guys to back him up with this. And who wants to walk anywhere when you can fly? Pretty much. <laughs> Um, then you guys went to the campsite and realised that um, they dispersed and some of them actually went north and you guys flew further north and discovered Silverthorn. And, and, so, and Silverthorn yeah. freaked out because luggage was there and then you got distracted and went to... Yeah. It was, I think it was also partially because we, I thought there were Warforged footprints so I was like, well, I need to track those down because they were bringing them in to attack us. And that no, became... No, 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 this, this, this might be Matt getting confused. No, the, war, the Warforged situation is an isolated thing to Silverthorn. That was that. Okay. Those were the tracks. That yeah, I the, the tracks of the then, Warforged were the ones that you currently have in a hole. Yeah. Um, well, then I guess... Or I have been destroyed somewhere in the lab. That is perhaps something... Now I've got to try and you know, take it next time. Yeah, but yes, that is something that Luggage will possibly point out to the rest of you. Or those who were, we, we, yes, we were all together when that was yeah. Mm. given. Yeah. Mm. So that is all of our quest. Um, <laughs> to find them. What is your quest? And I think the Holy Grail. The last yeah. time as well. Um, Blue. No, green. One, 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 one no, of the, no. Wait. Ah. One, of the, one of the townspeople got a letter and Aaron got a. I got a letter as well. Yeah. A letter from an old friend. That was ta- uh, taken by a bunch of people. Re- re- recruited by recruited. a university. Say, by how university. did he send a letter if he's been taken? He's That's been recruited, question. but he did send a, a message that said, help me at the end of it. Mm. Old oh, common. that's just teenage Does he need assistance? I what think so. Do oh, right, your friend. <laughs> or, did, or is he not good enough? <laughs> 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 Luggage got sassed today. <laughs> and I'm like in the corner going, fucking got him. <laughs> is he asking for assistance as in he's in danger? Or is he asking for assistance as in I can't do this myself, please help? <laughs> is Don't he feeble know. or is he dying? You can't tell through writing, but I would guess danger. No, what's the font he used? <laughs> <laughs> Windings. Did he use caps lock? Did he use caps lock? With, no, but he used in a language which very few people would know. Mm. Did he use so I assume that would be a common way that he could probably take yep. that as its danger. Yeah. Yep. 
Okay, so then why are you bringing up the other way of understanding it? Because it's I'm, luggage. I'm asking <laughs> what it is to know whether it's helped me as in, hey, just just help me out with this, or help me as in, help me. Help, help me cheat. But I'm still trying to w- wonder who would recruit him, but now that I'm piecing it together, if that encampment was nearby, what are the people called again that were chasing? The Phoenix on me. <laughs> I look at Vandal slash that one because I don't think Vandal is with that. you guys. Yes, it was Drew. I see on the ship. All the NPCs are currently on the ship except for Seven, who came here with you guys specifically. Because okay. he didn't want to. The fly. Phoenix army. Because he was curious where Aaron wanted to go. Because it was the building that Drew wanted him to go and have a look at. <laughs> so. I, th- I thought it was the fact that he didn't want to fly. I missed that part of that conversation. That's cool. Who does? So the Phoenix army could have potentially taken him. And it says something about the university in Rowan Bay. So you reckon they might have gone to Rowan Bay? Hmm. I know Probably. that name. That's and I walk over to the map and put my finger. That's here, right? Basically, there. Yeah. I'll probably be just slightly off, or uh, just next to the glowy light, going here. Yeah, the, the, I don't know. I haven't been into Rowan Bay before. We are here. That is a long distance. Mm. Wow. But the boat is here. Wow. That is a shorter distance. <laughs> the adults are talking. <laughs> We're off to the side, that's what I say. <laughs> I, I am the oldest. Yeah. It's so like I they, do not they, they're working out. Boomer! <laughs> Shut up! Uh, if you wanted to go. It's, it's actually <laughs> Boomer. <laughs> for, for what happened. Actually, <laughs> Although, actually. Gary Boomer. <laughs> Am I the oldest? Technically, uh, no, Aaron is. If you're going oldest. by existence. <laughs> That's why I said adults. <laughs> um, in terms of being born Earth wise, then um, it's bet- it's a competition between Aaron and Seven, depending how old Seven was before. Oh, yeah, I have no doubt who Seven is. But I don't actually know how old Seven is, so I can't tell you. I'll have to ask um, I'd say Mikey. He doesn't tell people. <laughs> I'll have to ask Mikey. Yeah. But I'd say Seven's older because Aaron was young. Um. Ah, uh, he was a young with, boy. He's hanging out with Seven. Ooh. By the time that whole story happened, he yeah. was pretty powerful mm. and had had a lot of things happen to him. So he probably would have had at least a fair few years on him. I think he was yeah. pretty young at the time. Mm. Oh, I'm very nervous. I'm dehydrated and I feel really sorry. Uh, there's only a I'm, I'm drinking. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I am hydrated. It's going to dehydrate you. Nah. It's got more sugar. Can in continue? Myself. Yep. Um, so um. I... We get Could ask Dad, him. Dad, where are we going? <laughs> Could ask Ronald the guy. Get back and I point at the thing again. So let's go then. We need to go here. All right, sweet. But go on, Bay. I cannot teleport here. Can I teleport here? I look at um. Or close to Jeeves. Jeeves just goes. I. I don't remember any of the code systems. You'll have to visit each of these locations and have a look at their set symbol that tells you to dictate to go there. Okay. Like, uh, so what's faster, ship or teleport next to it? Ship. Ship. I mean, yeah, if, if, if you can if you can teleport from where ship you came from. Stuff. We just ditch our mates on the ship for weeks. <laughs> can we put the ship on the telly pad? Like, um... <laughs> depending, <laughs> depending on the size of that, probably not, though. Oh, Any of the large telly pads still go around? without the ship. That is actually... No, the no, ship no, is Most useful. of them have been destroyed. She questioned why I have the no connection to them. Why don't we fly I don't there? think many of the larger ones would have been too much of an issue. We have a ship we can go anywhere. But that right. would have been actually a shitload of time to fly that distance. Yeah. Um, so yeah, luggage will kind of recommend that we jump on the ship because A, we don't want to leave it behind out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Um, and B, Ronald's on it, the ship. It flies. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot faster to go from there than it is to somehow swim and walk and do everything from like... Uh, Johnny would swim and walk. <laughs> Luggage would just walk the entire way. Johnny, you will know that yep. because you I took something. you took you took the boat that originally brought you to this island. Oh yeah. You know that the boat trip was about a month. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, soon, you bring up the uh, slow ass boat. The main island on the other side. It was a sort of island to island sort of situation, sort of precarious. You went on a cruise? No, no, I, I dig out a thing on my wallet. I was like, I forgot this is a map. <laughs> and it's like really poorly drawn it's like holy shit that's far away cruise raiding party kind of the same thing right I update my map with better information throw it away and <laughs> start a new one <laughs> so we're going here right in my map uh, hang on how you've drawn a new map 
Seventy seven, it's pretty good. Pretty good man. <laughs> I was just gonna say there is actually You trace a, the one yeah. that's on the table. There is actually a skill for drawing something. Oh okay. <laughs> so it's roll, kind of top of his tool, so it's a D twenty without the Okay, so I may not be good at this. <laughs> yeah, so roll, roll me a D twenty plus um your Dex mod. Dex or intelligence? No, it's Dex. It's how well he holds it's his hands. Not very good. I was gonna say he's not very smart. Matthew holds his tongue. <laughs> uh, seven. <laughs> it's a child's drawing. <laughs> We're going here, right? right? Regardless oh, of whether it's before. understandable or not, it's not visibly understandable. <laughs> though he's actually got a logic behind it. I right? ask you for general <laughs> criticism. You, you ask me how to draw the shapes. Yeah. That's <laughs> why it goes from that. <laughs> <laughs> Large blob, small blobs. Large blob. Uh, blob. I should no, try again then. Right. This island doesn't look like a penis, does it? <laughs> He's like, what's a penis? <laughs> right. As that's kind of now been made decided decisions to do that, luggage is going to go and move, go back upstairs and move the books. Put them away. Because they're kind of sitting out in the foyer and that's not where they should be. You're going to pick them up and take them into Drew's room. Um, and as he does that, kind of point, we've got, how many have we got? Like, Four bedrooms left. Was there? Because there's Drew Fitz. Luggage doesn't have one. He got technically a, he got the kitchen, didn't he? Yeah, he, he did. Was, you know, they got the kitchen. No, no, no the he cupboard. got the no, he got the cupboard yeah. to the side of the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. And cool. I don't think Dark and Mark and Bark were given a room. They just stayed in the lounge. Yeah. They, well, they were given a room together. No, no, they they were given the lounge yeah. because um, Mark was put on the couch. And then Bark pile of stuff on him, and so they just left him there underneath a bunch of stuff. Yeah. yeah. I wonder um, why he turned so evil. <laughs> <laughs> he was already evil. I know, but we didn't help it. That's <laughs> he didn't help his own damn situation. Says Drew. Who was evil? Well, Mark. A dead guy. His friend. Yeah. Oh, actually, sorry, I can't point at him. Because <laughs> Bark's not him, and neither is Dark. The Dark and Bark are people that this guy was hanging with. His friend. That's Mark, Bark, person. and Dark. Yeah. He had I wonder they were evil. Yeah. <laughs> you hang out with that guy for just a couple of days and drive anyone nuts. And those weren't their names. <laughs> <laughs> I just gave them those names. When we met him, he had lackeys. <laughs> and one of the lackeys turned out to be evil. Another one is still slightly questionable. And then there's Bark, who has seems mean, to have been just turned into a pet. <laughs> <laughs> he is my lovable oak. What is, what is the party's plan? What about you? After jumping out the books, I mean... Pick up supplies and go to the ship? Are we rested? I assume they... Yeah, would. yeah it's, it's late afternoon, so although here it's kind of midday, so it's probably confusing for you guys, <laughs> but it's late afternoon when you guys have finished cleaning up the airship from Duck Feathers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you're probably about time for a nap, in theory. Possibly go back and... Would you like to sleep on a bed or a cot? Bed. I sleep wherever. I'm used to sleeping on. Like no, none of the rest of the NPCs know what's going on. You can sleep. <laughs> I'm used to <laughs> luggage just making a nothing. plan. I'm edgy. Gonna top, hop back and explain things. Because sleep luggage has been double. given the instruction that he's not allowed to leave the ship. Um, on Couple each. Because is it? Was it landed or was it hovering? Uh, it's hovering. So Van, it's Vandal, Van, no, Vandal and um, Ronald are capable of recharging the core. Forever. Yeah, Van, Vandal can cast like level 4 spells, so he can do like one or two of those a day if he needs to. Well, like, it's, that's it's, what he's been doing. It's uh, 24 hours. As long as, as long as they can keep it aloft for 24 hours, I'm not worried about that. Yeah, but no, they, they can. With how many energy. duck feathers did we pick up? Uh, you guys didn't pick up any of them, you just dumped them out of the ship. If you would like to, they're probably scattered all over the forest. <laughs> no, they don't Not this them. forest, that forest. <laughs> um, yeah, back and grab them. It's, a, it's a point and click adventure. You pick up I everything will, you can. <laughs> I will assign these guys their beds and kind of give note to Jeeves. Rooms and see. I know where my room. I get naked and then. <laughs> <my room. laughs> Johnny Jeeves wanders closet. off to a closet. <laughs> Johnny's closet. <laughs> yeah. I know my room. Everybody's <laughs> <laughs> like, what? You just hear him fucking the cactus. <laughs> no, no, I get into the cupboard, but it's too small. So you just hear me knocking the sides constantly. <laughs> it's too small, so his butt's like sticking out the door of it. <laughs> <laughs> and luggage walks past. I'll help. 
<laughs> oh, thanks, Logan. You're actually learning me because I was literally about to say, I'll help. Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right, and after they're all settled in, I will <laughs> head back to Silverhorn, give the heads up to everyone of the, they're taking a nap, Would you, you can sleep here, then in, in Jogel will be heading out to, um, I guess I can probably give them the name to Lamage, that will work, of where the plan, we're planning to go. You can tell Vandal you're going to Roland Bay, and he'll sort of go, oh, do you want us to make sure we can get the airship up and running for the morning then? All right then, friend Lodge. Easy enough. And I'll start comping around, assisting where needed. With the airship. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Drew is in his bedroom, reading. Uh, his so massive chambers of things that he's got. So mo- most of Books the night. Everywhere. Mo- most of the night, for everybody, seems to go sort of uneventful. Luggage, you basically help. A couple hours into you dealing with the airship is fine. I would have gone back to the airship. You want to chill with Falco? Okay. Yep. You know, that's one of the teleporters that went on the mm. Yep. Yeah. So Aaron, Aaron uses the teleporter for that mission, pops back to Silverhorn and just sort of comes up and hangs out with Falco. Oh, uh, Fal- Falco, Goose, and Aaron sleep in one room quite yeah. contently. Um, part the way through the night, uh, luggage while you're walking around, you're hearing knock, knock, knock on the door. As you sort of wander down, Bark is staring at Dio's room's door and just knocking while holding a book. Knock, knock, knock. He is not here. Oh. He? She. 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 And if that works for luggage, he is not here. <laughs> I don't see gender, I just see masses of flesh. But uh, Bark, <laughs> Bark turns and looks at you and goes, This is a book. <laughs> oh no! It's a blind leading the blind! <laughs> I, I actually have a pretty decent intelligence. I could probably can teach him to read slightly. Can you understand that he wants you to teach him? <laughs> if he says it, it is a book. Help? What is it doing to you? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Reading! It is not. <laughs> this book cannot read to you. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Stop taking the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> we were playing you last week. We were very good at it. Oh, no. um, <laughs> it's a sign of good character if you can have other people play it. Yes. It, it also has become a predictability. <laughs> um, I will bro. fuck you up, gun. <laughs> you require assistance to read the book. Bingo! <laughs> no, that says... Scared. Bingo. <laughs> <I'm> scared. <laughs> no, wait, no, luggage would have understood, understood that by now. He, he said that enough to make it something luggage would understand, I assume? B- bingo is yes. Yeah. He okay. said that enough for people to have probably bingo. picked up. Picked that up. Cute. Sweet. Okay. Luggage will take him upstairs. Create a um, light behind him. I presume that's and what the skulls look like. Start reading to magical. Um, okay. oh. Unmagical skull? When it decides to go back to being a skellyman? <laughs> <laughs> just a skellyman? Luggage just going <laughs> squishing them and taking the soul back. It's like, <laughs> um, yeah, I never I'll, got to bone! Okay, I will walk <laughs> whatever time he Roll, roll me an intelligence. Because I have a long night ahead of me that he can use. It's, much uh, it is one animal per person. It's not so much a matter of your intelligence of reading, it's a matter of Bark's picking up. It's how, how well do you, got, you are at actually reading the word, Tom, is what the intelligence rolls for. Take it from that me, teaching people is hard work. <laughs> 17 not for you. the um, just straight intelligence, because I assume it's not a save, which would not make sense. Otherwise okay, it would be a 20 more. if it was a save. Cool. Oh, yeah. uh, so he goes through the different animals you get up to, so you've got um, an alligator is still an alligator. A bear is still a bear. Um, I get frustrated over goose and dragon. Uh, he constantly will call a centaur a horse. As much as you argue with, with him for a horse while. Horse man. Horse. Horse Just man. Horse. Horse. Horse, horse man. Most of the time. Uh, <laughs> then you move, on, you move on to dragon, to which it's goose. Uh, <laughs> this probably frustrates luggage a bit more. Eventually it is, this is dragon. He goes, dragon. Dragon. I, I create... Ah. I will do a um, 
He, he will read the words correctly, but then goes back to the resort. Goose, and dragon face. goose. <laughs> I will give him Bruce. an image of the dragon that we Bruce. fought. The dragon Googan. that we fought. And dragon. And then flip to an image of goose. Goose dragon two. Goose yep. small dragon. But goose is goose. goose. Yes. And dragon is dragon. Yes, dragon is dragon. And goose is little dragon. And tomorrow. <laughs> and tomorrow it will be Goose is Goose. Yep. Dragon is Goose. Yep. <laughs> Temporary instruction, that's fine. Continue. You, 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 anyone who teaches them properly will be able to re- repair the words, but they will never stay the repaired words. It's, it it is, is, it is, can you now differentiate between Big Dragon and Small Dragon, though? So it's Goose big and Dragon. Go- no, Big Goose, Little Goose. Yep. Oh. Yes, it's <laughs> that um, would be where it comes to tomorrow. He, he gets on to the next one, which is an eagle, and he... Spends about half an hour with you, just arguing Go. over over the different letters, and eventually you get to eagle, and he goes eagle, eagle, hmm. and then falls asleep. <laughs> this is eagle, eagle. Hmm. Really shouldn't study for fall bed. Eagle. <laughs> Welcome to why words probably don't stick. Yeah. <laughs> Fish. Why is? Why are we letting him decide what he reads? <laughs> <laughs> it's like asking a kid, what do you want for dinner? Ice cream. Yeah, no shit, you're a kid. <laughs> Decision making is terrible. When we first went to the um, thing with him, you were there, I think. Yeah. Him, I think I was hung oh, over. It was, <laughs> it's back yeah. when I could oh, drink. We'd learned he'd had difficulty. Two days. Oh, my God. You have two more days and you're capable of I have a drunk scratch drink. into my arm. <laughs> <laughs> that's, one more. Th- that's one sad thing that's going to happen from... The later part of this episode, because I was going to get that joke. Yep. <laughs> yep. I'm continuing to just keep an eye on the place after probably about another five minutes of realizing that he's asleep. Well, continuing with this. <laughs> yeah. um, the fact that he's not objecting means it goes really quick <laughs> until eventually. Oh, he is unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that always happen to me when I'm talking? <laughs> You, you go to hand the book to him and put it, it on him. You, you put it on him and his hand just kind of goes... <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is not asleep. It's almost like it's just a muscle reaction. Oh, this, is, this is mine. I, I can't get that out of there. I'm not dumb. <laughs> no. I'm going to continue my drops. Yep. Until morning slash goose. technically late afternoon. Where there goose. Is. goose. That's yes, goose. That is goose. Um, no, it'd be late. It'd be late night for these guys. Late night when they wake up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, well, no, everyone else. So, Fitz, Dio, and Johnny. Yeah. The people part, in the mansion. Yeah. yeah. Part part of the way through the night, I'm assuming luggage goes back to them. To what color is it? Uh, orange. They had about six hours or so. I will double check that. So he's six to ten years old. Yeah. Cool. Or is he twelve? If he's 12, he's yellow. Okay, then no, yeah, he's a yellow orange. Yeah, he's he's going yellow. Okay. Um, I, it, after about six hours, I'll probably assume that some of them have actually woken up and started to drop around in the boat, so I would head back to go and check on making sure that people are actually coming. Okay, so you, you come back to the mansion. Um, Dio, Johnny, and Drew. Drew's probably still just comatose reading. Um, he'd, he'd probably be swamped under a pile of books that he yeah, yeah you, you, the first thing you do is you walk in and you kind of recognise that Drew's probably been reading for he'd probably only just gone to sleep now for the amount of reading he's probably gone through uh, Dio and Johnny are now both wide awake because Johnny's still in the cupboard. <laughs> Johnny's still in the cupboard. <laughs> Jesus, but, like, do you need help? And then the door just pops open with his new house. Yeah, no, it's just basically there. So Hello there. <laughs> oh, which, Hello there. This is my house. <laughs> <laughs> with a face drawn on it. Yeah. Yes, of course, sir. I understand. <laughs> Would you like a coat today, sir? And the coat rack just pushes you out of the closet, <laughs> and then and then just sort of moves back in because there is no coat. Wait, there. rolls a st- dexterity. Do I land on my feet? No. Give me a dick, sir. Maybe. DC air. 10. Uh, yep. Is it a save or a modifier? It's a save. Uh, 18. Okay, yep, no, you're on your feet. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> <Dick egg. laughs> sir, sir, may I suggest clothing now? 
Fine. <laughs> You're such a Scrooge. Now you're all sassy. <laughs> of course, sir. <laughs> He's doing this. <laughs> like, no, no. The, the face just currently is invisible. <laughs> <laughs> How does that work? Control him. He has image. no eyes. <laughs> just the amount of image is just currently not there. Doesn't even look at you. He has no eyes. He's not giving you the look of disdain because you. Uh, the, the, the lights in Dio's room flip on, and a voice just pops into the room. And Dio, awakening time. The fuck? Hmm. Luggage has entered the building. Hello, friends. <laughs> Luggage. That come with you as well. Shush. No. Is it earlier in the mansion than it is in the ship? The timeline-wise, uh, basically for for midday is midnight kind of situation. It's it's like hour, okay. Yeah. So it's morning where you are because you went to the ship, hmm. but it's night where they are because they're in the mansion. Yeah. All right. So they. So I come but, to the mansion. Because I assume I would have gone through a full sleep. About six hours after I was, everyone else was going to sleep on the ship, I went back. Oh, okay. So, yeah. as, so, you're just, so back, as, as, as luggage has gone, you'll probably wake up about an hour or so later. Makes sense. Oh. Yeah, crawl out and once everyone comes down, explain that there is, the ship is prepared and ready. We can go on an adventure. I will walk upstairs. Um, and try and what, find out why I, Drew has not awakened, realizing he's asleep. And yep. in the pile of books, I would probably, I don't know if you want to do that at this yeah. point, I would turn around and um, give him a shake and a nudge and advise him we're going to leave. At which point he'd probably grumble at me. Mm, spam read books and book shit. Precious things. <laughs> Crawling out of bed on top of luggage turning luggage to head outside and meet up with those of you who are here um Drew has found too much information found too many books and is currently not really wanting to put himself in danger and one of the bigger tasks that the and Theme have given him is to search for knowledge so he's tripped down to try and find out what sort of Knowledge is in these lost books, which will take a fair amount of time. Turning to Fitz, um, creating a minor illusion on his head. I bequeath you the ship. Mm-hmm. Turning to the rest of you. Aaron. Keep each other safe. <laughs> Aaron walks through the portal because then he just <laughs> arrives. <laughs> What's yeah. going on? Keep each other safe and don't break the ship. I just thought and my as pants. <laughs> ending on and don't break the ship. Oh, fine. Looking at Johnny. Yes. <laughs> what did I do? I drew. As I'm trying to get my hand from my ship, but I'm putting like the sleeve part from my head. Um, oh, what? That was your pants. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that explains a lot. Luggage bag. Luggage. Was breezy. He will stay with his. Master? Close enough? Mm. His Fixer. Self. Himself. <laughs> As he kind of queries the possibility of fixing himself and rejoining his memories with what he does know. Find out what he lost now that he knows that he can. And it'll probably be what Lurkage and Drew do for the next fair while. And he walks out. Bye, friends. Bye, Felicia. Try not to die. He's gonna die. I cannot heal you. No, that's fair. You will be too far away. Oh, I can heal him. Don't oh, tell him that. My shirt's on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> He's the dog. Fits <laughs> oh. up to luggage and we'll go, uh, I'm gonna work on some stuff from the airship. I might have to come back every now and then. Do so. You, do you want skeleton parts? I mean, yeah, everything's helpful. I want to build this arm. I will put these in your room. Oh, and I'll just start piling out all the skeleton bits that I've had from um, the tunnel as I pull out all of them. I'll then go through the stacks, try and find Bones Chillington, and hand the pieces over to you, allowing you to take them. I cannot keep him under your control, as he will go nuts shortly Mm. after a day. You can wake him up when you find out how to. When I need him. 
in a time of crisis, <laughs> I can call forth the ultimate warrior. <laughs> did you put the glowy bone in the thing? Is that what you did? No, glowy bones with purple. I gave him the glowy bone because he gave me dead fish. No, dead duck. <laughs> dead duck. Dead duck. Can I wear Bones Chillington's skull as a helmet? Yep. In theory, the glowy glowy rock that Monty has and the glowy bone that um, Thing has will forever stay glowy. So just keep that in mind. Awesome. <clears throat> Good, because Falco likes glowy bone. <laughs> he, he does. He likes glowy bone. Well, I like my bones, Chloe. There is a very non-emotional disconnection with Robert. Seven of this thing's a little pile of bones. Six of this well, the more I find out about what happened to my Bye, people, luggage. I'll come and tell you, Drew. If we find it, we will tell you too. Bye, luggage. Don't die. I cannot die. I am not alive. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Typically. Uh, I take you two around the arms. like, it's going to go on for a while. Let's just walk out. <laughs> It's like seriously, every other conversation is semantic, so come on. <laughs> I say this while my pants are now backwards. <laughs> Somehow, I was wearing them right before. <laughs> is your tail like curved around on this yeah, way yeah, on the yeah. front? <laughs> Look at my tail penis. <laughs> Look at my tail, my tail is amazing. Give it a lick. Mm, it tastes just like raisins. With a stroke of my mane, I turn into a flame. And when I turn again, it's like tongue of my wiki. <laughs> Why do I know all of that? And at the end of that, a flash of light and so. Well, I better not show you where the lemonade is made, sweet lemonade. No! Stop! Just, just stop singing. No, he's got a mic. I'm trying to find Monty's thing. That's a luggage laugh. Oh, sorry, a Drew laugh. <laughs> I do love playing goblins. Oh, where did it go? Climbing up friggin' walls and stabbing notes into the... It's the best kind of goblin. <laughs> Threats to a bloody bank owner or bank director. What? Yeah, it was an evil campaign. Just trying to threaten a bank owner as a goblin. Did a few different sessions. Did it happen. work? No. Well, <laughs> so far, they don't think so. I mean, it's create. They created a further threat oh, to it, which right. has created. Um, they they made a um, suicide zombie okay, right. that walked into a bank and blew itself up. <laughs> oh my god! Looks great. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. They'd already killed the dude. No, okay. So um, so you guys bounce through the teleporter and appear sort of morningish in Silverthorn, and it's a few sort of farmers sort of walking around. And um, you immediately hear, coming from sort of the tavern-esque on the other side of town, um, Come on, Grandpa, you've got to go home! And, uh, What? No! Over there! And someone walks out of this bar and is kind of slowly being ushered out by one of the guys, the patrons, and this sort of oddly dressed old man sort of walks out and then looks and eyes you guys and goes, Hi! I wave at him. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Hi! And he turns back and goes, Family! And then vanishes and appears in front of you guys. Oh, right. <gasps> Hello! Hi, pretty lady! Hello, how and, are you? And, and this old Monty is just lying in Dio's boobs. Hi, Monty! <laughs> well played. Because <laughs> I'm wearing a skull. <laughs> Where did you come from? Portal. Ooh. Where did you come from? Ah, uh, pub. <laughs> I time travel when drunk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're not too drunk now, are you, Monty? I wasn't allowed anything to begin with. They were closed. Aww. Oh, we'll get you something. Yeah, it was like this something. this morning, so I thought I might be able to get a drink. No. no. Some milk? Jesus, look at his bones. <laughs> I'm not there, so I'm not saying anything. <laughs> it's okay, Monty. You can come with us for now. Can you carry me, please? Uh, yeah, I can give it a hot go. <laughs> Yay! And he just kind of lies on you. I think I'll just, like, swing him into back no. position. <laughs> you you no. do this, and you realise he's really light. <laughs> like, you grab your incorporeal arms, grab his, his arms, and then his legs, and hold him just above your head floating. Above so my not, chest. No, yeah. like Superman-style flying. No, I prefer the just... 
fling him around as a backpack and just sort of like hold his. <laughs> you, you fling him around and he just gropes you. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm used to it. You hear the cracks and the creaks of your bones. You're the most non modest <laughs> monk ever. <laughs> <laughs> Barbarian monk. <laughs> Um, not fucking necessary about modesty. Yeah. As, as it is the way out. you grabbed me. <laughs> as, as you guys walk out from, sort of, I'm assuming most of you use the door to go out, unless you walk through Johnny's path that he walked through the other. I use yeah. the door. I, I use, use the, the door path. as well because he's a dumb fuck. <laughs> so What's Johnny, wrong with the? Like, <laughs> as, are you walking back through it? Yeah. As, <laughs> as he walks through it, a, a small crowd sort of gathers and. Um, there's a couple of different people talking and things and um, John sort of turns and looks at you and goes, I mean there's one now and you can see John is currently talking to what looks like a very armoured clad dragonborn Oh, hello. Are you a John too? I am Baron John Who are you? You're you're a long John (laughs) Six foot two (laughs) That's a really long John (laughs) Johnny unzips his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Can Johnny tell the difference with genders with Dragon Balls? Oh, he's got a Kalaka, doesn't he? Kloaka <laughs> <laughs> is the word you're looking for. Um, and you she... correct me, and it's a bad time for both of us. <laughs> this, this is not player. Uh, this is not character. This is player. Um, but as a note, it's more of an athletic build, so there isn't as much of a bosom as there would be on deck necessarily. I don't know how that is described, but yeah. He ain't got no big titties or penis. I don't discriminate. Fairly large, um, you know. You're built like a tank. I'm built like a twink. As as as, uh, as, as Erin and Dio sort of walk over. Oh, a dragonborn. Haven't seen many of you. I. (laughs) Kaka. Wow, you're racist as shit. (laughs) Is there something wrong with her? Yeah, yes. she's really racist. <laughs> Feel free and to punch her. Oh, John, John turns to you and goes, um, and this is the hunter I was explaining to you before. This, this is Aaron. He's one of the passing hunters. Yeah, you're not a hunter. Yeah, I am. Fuck yeah. off. <laughs> this is in game. Yeah. <laughs> um, Fuck off. I shake, I shake yeah. your hand. You know what? When he kills something, he doesn't literally explode it. So there's no way left. <laughs> um, I I'm actually going to pull up my hunter explode. insignia. Yeah, I remember this goblin. show you. His insignia is made on what looks like a white dragon scale. <laughs> and it's in the, what, what are we doing? Are we doing dragon claw, dragon skull? Uh, skull uh, scale. No, no, I mean like the insignia pattern. Are we doing your, what you said before? Each... So the, your trophy is a scale, he's saying. Oh, with yeah. that etch in it. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. I, you've handed me pretty much my skin. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you got... I'm just saying this out loud. That reminds you... me of gold member when he takes off his skin. <laughs> 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 please put it back on. <laughs> this is a, indeed a great challenge. Though perhaps not as I lift up the like helm I have on and there is an almost bone white translucent white scales of a <laughs> dragonborn. Well, that's a bit awkward. <laughs> I, I tap you two on the shoulder. Man, you guys blew your instructions. <laughs> and not everyone's silent. I feel like pulling out like a bear claw. <laughs> Just being like, man. This is mine. You, you, you hear this audible noise from behind you. And oh. as you turn around and Falcor is sitting there. Falcor, majestically yeah. watching this. Falco, you're not making a good My impression. My companion. <laughs> Falco. He's missing a claw. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> How did that happen? Companion? Mm. Uh, not a hunt? No, a companion. Well, if we're desperate. <laughs> Falco looks at you. <laughs> <laughs> and, Why? And, and there was this bring it kind of look on his face. You would eat me too if we were desperate. <laughs> mm. Yeah, exactly. He, don't would fucking eat, he would eat you anyway. Yeah, don't fucking sass me. I... I have been travelling a bit towards the capital. I assume that is technically the capital. Yeah, it's, area. A, it's a capital. Yeah, of this area at least. Um, as I had heard rumours of other dragons. <clears throat> well, you want them fairy um, dragons? No, hang on. 
It was a Not giant Emma. fake ish of dragon. Dragon. A dragon. What? Don't White talk to the one who doesn't know. A dragon form. I am not a true dragon, as you can probably see. Ah, uh, that's why you didn't understand my caca. Sorry, friend. <laughs> Roll for disapproval. I have, I have never heard of a dragon <laughs> saying caca. Ah, uh, they roar or talk, and I start speaking in draconic. Yeah. Or they talk in their, their own language, our language. I don't think anyone. I don't know draconic. I don't think anyone knows draconic yet. Roar XD. <laughs> Dio, roll me a um intelligence. I fucking don't have my sheet here. You want to say that again, Johnny? Before nineteen. 19. Yeah, you probably get. Okay. That. Um, you can say something in draconic. Asadi. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, but it's sort of like it's almost like that the statement it's it's a very fluent draconic sort of statement mm. but it's also like a childish kind of statement obviously she's imitating um goose so it's probably something along the lines of feed me or food or something stupid like that feed it's, me Seymour feed me it's just something sort of <laughs> it, back in draconic <laughs> I have travel rations ah <laughs> you, you wouldn't you wouldn't <laughs> understand, understand it. These two are prolific one. liars. You should only trust me. <laughs> <laughs> did you need a tra- Did you need food? What? Do you need food? I'm speaking common. Yeah. You can understand. No, I'm fine. Then why did you ask me to feed you? Oh, that's that what I said. Oh shit! I thought I was saying it Johnny in the face. <laughs> I didn't even say my name. <laughs> <laughs> I know my name in every language. <laughs> I- ignore them now. <laughs> Turning to you, have you seen this? Um, as Johnny mentioned before, there was a invasion. A big fakie. <laughs> a big fakie. An airship was a disguised, disguised as a dragon. Huh. Well, that's disappointing. It was like this. And then we fell on top of it, and it turned out it wasn't real. Paco! No, shut up, you. You weren't there. <laughs> <laughs> I like stick my fingers in your mouth. <laughs> 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 and then we got into a fight, and we won, and then we got the ship, and it stopped being a dragon, so it's now a flying ship. Oh, that's right. It's the ship we got again. <laughs> <laughs> that's Man, so I feel like I rolled a natural 20 on that. <laughs> I for once, much. Johnny actually knows what's going on. I woke up, I'm so good for many days in a row. You can roll an inside if you want. What the fuck is this guy talking about? <laughs> uh, it'll be like a 10, I think. A lot of what he's saying seems to both make sense and not make sense. Fucking Pretty weird. I'm emphasizing the wrong things. Yeah. <laughs> but, I made a but, big job on this kind of drama. But as, as, as he <laughs> describes it, a lot of the stuff, it, it's like someone describing something that would make sense. But the context doesn't make sense. But nothing about it sounds like he's lying, and it seems very genuine. Uh, Thirteen. I was yeah. accentuating the uh, part that I played. We stopped invasion of Neil Hart. Sure. The invaders were using an airship as a dragon oh, to oh. scare people. But, uh, well, that's disguised as a dragon. Mm. And I was watching on the ground because I don't know anything. <laughs> so I wasn't a part of the campaign. <laughs> no. I didn't exist yet. <laughs> da, 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 da. I'm irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Good, good to know. <laughs> Falcor walks up to you and just kind of rubs against your side and says, You're not completely irrelevant, I hear. Like... <laughs> Falcor. Man, I'm feeling depressed today, buddy. <laughs> Falcor, Do you want to go death. for a fly? Mm. That cheers you up, usually. Nah, man, I don't even want to fly today. Oh, okay. Fat boy sort of just turns at you two. Anyone and got a mallet I can hit myself in the face with? Well, no. <laughs> hey, you, don't take my stick. That, that takes my hand out. Yes, I'm not. Hmm. You're a, what was that? Uh, hmm. I'm currently on another hunt right now to look for uh, the toad I was given. Oh, a toad? Yeah, it's a, a toad. A contract. Hit no toad? But it, no. Sort of. Hypnotoad. No, uh, just John, a giant toad. John chimes in and goes, Yes, there's currently a, a, a guild request through most of the hunters in some of the small villages. Uh, Rowan Bay has a massive toad that has gone missing and they're wanting people to try and find it. It's an outward toad. Yes. It's some sort of liquid god. 
<laughs> Again, <laughs> half truths. <laughs> John turns and looks at you. What do you mean, Lord God? God? Well, he's a toad, so he should have something to do with water. Okay. How massive are we talking as I pull my hand, well, put my hammer on? A minor illusion. Fal- Fal- Falcor looks at you yeah. and kind of has this grinning kind of smirk. Uh, do we do the thing where, like, I no. tap you on the shoulder, you put an arm out, and then I keep walking? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. It's about yay big. That seems to be a very intelligent thing. Also, it seems like you've yes. heard a joke. It is, uh... uh currently standing next to Erin, Erin just looks majestic. Yeah. <laughs> it's a unique specimen. <laughs> It turns and just walks away. <laughs> he stops at that five feet from you guys and sort of looks back at you like a I thought we were going somewhere kind of looking at you guys like a kid who's like, are we going or not? Just, I don't know, there's a lot of talking, alright? Go to the airship. Uh, you can take along. Falcon turns, looks at you guys and just goes and then just goes corporeal and just flies off. Oh, like that was so difficult. <laughs> 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 so yeah. confused about... <laughs> oh right, we should probably explain. Actually, no, I'm not gonna. Well, now, <laughs> well, now I've that he's seen a bird it. fly, I've seen a ship fly. But I'll tell you what, I ain't never, never seen, seen a bear fly. <laughs> he's so fly. <laughs> <laughs> That's from Dumbo. <laughs> uh, come with us, and I can explain that. I'll help. <laughs> <laughs> like how you are. He'll make it take about three hours longer. <laughs> yeah, but I need all the flourish. <laughs> I, 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 I won't sparkless. say no to a challenge. <laughs> so, <laughs> to the final me. <laughs> Ew. I, I do question your company. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm incorrigible. Also, you, you take a geriatric with you into combat? There's an old man currently clinging to the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, He's a new one. <laughs> yeah. I'll explain yeah. that also. M- Monty goes, I'm not always old, but I don't fight. Monty, it's, it's really okay. Much. Eventually you'll be dead. Monty, shh. I want um, milk or prunes. I really want a prune. I haven't had a prune in a while. Who's got prune? prunes? <laughs> they <Nah>. exist. <laughs> they are... Am I correct that the yellow part of that map is desert? Yes. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, we don't have prunes. Wrong for no. I doubt it. Um, I, I will attempt to locate object for prunes. Please, <laughs> goddamn prunes! <laughs> like a mile or two, maybe? Uh, you you just start hitting. How far does locate object go? I think it's a mile or two. <laughs> locate for prunes. I know where a prune is, I can locate one. It depends on whether there's a trader <laughs> going past. Uh, we want this. Uh, okay. Oh. Yeah. 1,000 feet. God damn it. It's a mile. Imperial no. Push of... <laughs> no, there, there are no prunes in this general facility. Yeah. We are not close How does your locate object? Is it your divinity? Is it describe a name? Describe no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I mean, I mean, when you cast your spell, oh, that would describe be... your spell. Right. right. So as that is asked, I assume I'm Flavor. starting to slowly yeah. follow this. Yeah, we're walking back of oddities. <laughs> um, as, as, as you're walking cool. slowly. A thousand feet is only 0.18 miles. An insane typhling, and we have another insane typhling that's battle hungry all the time. Um, I will uh, grab at my. And I forgot the rest of the party. I, I feel oh, like and the cat. <laughs> the cat, the other barbarian up there, and those three dudes there. It's a tabaxi walking with you guys who hasn't said anything. I will grab my. Um, He'll steal claw. your stuff. And as we're walking, close my eyes. A small glow of light would come from within, possibly a slight aura of chilly chillness, which actually makes me feel comfy. Chilly chillness. A, I guess, more of a whisper sort of thing, as I'm trying to almost talk to myself. Oh no, he's insane. 
it would be unintelligible to the rest of you because it'd probably be in draconic more than anything else because that's my natural tongue. No, move um, speak. I'm, uh, pretty much, I'm in theory asking Hades if he's ever heard of a prune. Yo, Hades, you need prune mm-hmm. nearby. Depends on how old Hades is. It's like a date, <laughs> not a date. Um, I don't need any prunes. Can you just get just not that old? Sensing 27. <laughs> Well, there. I'm sorry to say, old man, but there aren't any nearby. Aren't any what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, if he. Prunes. Don't pull a professor prunes. X on me, I can't take it. <laughs> you asked for a prune. Why would I want a prune? I don't know. We're not in the right region for prunes. God. <laughs> we changed Weird one old. stupid conversation for another stupid conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty lady. Yeah. This one's weird. Take me away from her. Move faster, please. It's a her? <laughs> <laughs> what? Correct. Holy shit. Could you shit. not tell by, you know, the extra bump on my plating? I could, girl. <laughs> I thought that was hot. <laughs> <laughs> Fist bump. <laughs> oh, shit. There'd be like a little rumble. Finally, on the someone can take my punches. Yes. Yeah, anyone who's watching them do this will notice Dio's arm is right out like three times faster than, um... Was it Farad? Faradrin. Faradrin. Because Faradrin slowly did. just sort of moves her arm up just to... And you pierce my eardrums. Oh my god! Yes! <laughs> there's, more pow- there's more power behind the fist bump, but it's very slow in getting there. Or even better, the clack, you know, um, what's it? Arnold oh, the other thing. thing. Yes! <laughs> mm. And we just start doing a fucking handshake. <laughs> <laughs> just females just need to know. Too, too quick, too fast. Honk, honk. So, so, slow, <laughs> slow down, slow down. Oof. I haven't done this in a while, right? <laughs> honk, honk, titty, titty, wet, wet. <laughs> sex, 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 and don't forget the violence. <laughs> As you guys start walking out of town, oh, um, you get to this airship that you've just sort of seen, just sort of hovering there and outside of the airship. As you guys are sort of walk around, to it's the... a huge mountain of feather dust. <laughs> as, as, as you guys walk around to the back of the airship, just so you're led to the entrance, uh, you notice there's a, a crowd, kind of a group of people gathering. As you get closer, so you, you as you get closer, you realize this is consisted of a tabaxian, a human, a human, and three skeletons. And standing at the top of this, um, stand back. At, standing at the top of this, sort of convey about thing is another human who seems to be sort of standing next to one who's sort of in the middle of giving some sort of instructions and sees this and goes as oh. I'm starting to pick up the pace with my maul and both hands charging towards undead um hold up hold, hold up, up. Man. hold up they're ours with friendly the, you've barked to consort them. with the undead um Bark turns around and goes, Friend- Friends of ours! Yeah. Had to tell lots of people this. This one is Arrow and pokes one of the skeletons in the head. And it's sort of, its head just kind of spins around and it, as its head spins, you see this arrow just sort of stabbed in the back of its head. Arrow is smart. He does things. Arrow, get me apple! And the arrow skeleton just kind of goes, and turns and just walks off into the bush. Hmm. And as you're as you Bart, stand, commander of the undead. <laughs> <laughs> and ducks. And ducks. <laughs> this, this. Undead ducks. <laughs> We're gonna have a weird. About, about a minute battle. so later comes back and the arrow skeleton comes back holding an apple. And just sort of holds it to Bark and Bark takes the apple and just starts eating it. Um, Bark, you'll spoil your dinner. Uh, Only eat half. Uh, it's breakfast. He's a barbarian. <laughs> 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 it's, it's daylight. <laughs> like, Not for him! Seven meals a day, goddammit. <laughs> there, there was a bit of steam that. coming out of Bart's ear, like, ear, almost like his brain just imploded. Because that's the ear is a chubby chaser. <laughs> seeing the, size, oh God! Of, seeing the size, of, size of this dude, I can believe that. Well, I'm not a chubby perhaps chaser. you should just feed him smaller meals. That's like trying to talk to a brick wall. Hi. Why would you talk to a brick wall? That's precisely the point, my friend. Uh, it's hmm. another luggage. I will... I won't then. <laughs> Hi, luggage 2.0. <laughs> well, I can. Um, I face I have, twi- of I have 11 intelligence, <laughs> and I understand human emotions and things like, well, you know, how humans um, work. 
Va- Vandal mm-hmm. sort of gives uh, a couple more instructions and to the group sort of bit less sort of crowd controlling sort of thing and the three skeletons sort of bolt inside and the other Tabaxian wanders in and he sort of wanders down and um, the other human who's standing at the top of the ramp goes uh, we take you off then this is Roll yep yep Roll and B and uh, we've got a new passenger forgot your name again Faradrin Faradrin F A Farrow if you think Faragrin but put a D in grin as in smile don't make it yeah. as F A R A. Um, she F-A-R-A. Does I'm just writing. A member of the Hunters uh, Guild. Oh, right. The, the thing you were telling me about. Yeah. The one you, were, you thought that I might be probably suitable for joining. Mm hmm. Oh, it sounded made up to me. And you, <laughs> and you recruit. Yeah. Training him. Hmm. We'll have to test his mettle. He sort of looks He's still very, very fresh meat. Almost sharp. Pointed teeth come out as a grin comes on her face after saying, test his metal. He, he looks at you and just goes, I'm going to go start the ship now. And turns and just walks inside. Oh, you've embarrassed him. <laughs> uh, Van, Vandal sort of saying, um, so we're all getting off then now, I guess. Um, mm. I'll just dice up the core and then we'll go. Let yeah. Ronald uh, put yeah. one in. He's already gone upstairs. Oh, okay. Yeah, go do it then. All right. And Vandal walks up to you and sort of stands sort of posturally, not quite your height, but sitting there, and just goes, uh, welcome aboard, ma'am. Me, Vandal. He's not that tall. Like, yeah, no, wasn't he like four or five feet? No, no, okay. Van- Vandal's like five, six, five, <laughs> seven. Like, he's he's, he's still pretty short. I, I remember he's... him being a dwarf or something. No, he's human. No, Ben is a dwarf. Mm. Yeah. Ben is the only Ben Grimace. <laughs> yeah, ben, ben Grimace, the only other human who's come to this airship. Well, humanoid. Mm. You know, yeah. it's, 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 no, it's, it's mistaken for a dwarf because he's a d- human with dwarfism, but not a dwarf. <laughs> 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 Which is very confusing and hard to explain. <laughs> he's got all the problems of a dwarf, but he doesn't have the powers of a dwarf. That's so horrible. <laughs> oh, I feel so funny. <laughs> Welcome to NBC's I have to make up when he does this sort of stuff. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Especially when they're backstory based. <laughs> Sometimes it's really, really good because you don't have to come up with names for silly characters who just popped out of nowhere. Other times he spends a lot of instant time making a background for it and then you've got to remember it for later. And then I forget it. Just <laughs> make another like, one. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry, what did he... Did uh, he, he, he puts his hand out to shake your hand. This is sort of welcome aboard sort of shake. But I meant thank you. There's a little bit of a handshake. Well, so <laughs> have great journeys? Yeah, that's all my putting it. And he turns and sort of wanders back into the airship and stands up. We're there. gonna die! <laughs> <laughs> you say so that. She, she says this as she walks up, <laughs> and you notice this fairy dragon come into existence and just latch onto her face. <laughs> Hi, books. Goose! I've read books about monks. It's the weirdest thing. <laughs> But lie, fool. <laughs> you seem to be under attack. I'm not. He, he, he's, he's literally just, just licking my boogers out my nose. Goose just sort of gets moved onto the horns and just sort of latches onto the he horns. Was just, he was just licking my nose. It's okay. And Goose is just kind of attached to Dio's horns now. <laughs> so I've got fucking... <laughs> You've got an old guy latched onto your back and like this. Your movement is now considered half. There was enough weight on you that you were now moving. How long have you been on this hunt? This mission? Um, this Too particular long. mission? Long month is it? Just started. Um, beforehand, I was on another personal quest that I was just tagging along with these folks. So, when did this actual. Was this last episode that that came about? What's this? His mission. My mission? Hunt. Technically, it was when I wasn't here, one of the times. Because I'm curious as, I'm kind of thinking perhaps he's had a long time. He's not been able to succeed in his mission due to... Mm. Chaos. Hey! Some distractions. <laughs> so the, I wrote the, him the, the post about the, his mission. Uh, is about a day and a bit old. Okay, that's, that's when he got the letter. That's his mm-hmm. that current objective. The other mission he had wasn't really a, this is your end goal. It was more of a, kind of like your visitor, Cathedral of the Hades, when you get to a town kind of thing. It yeah. was more of a... Passing thing. He didn't have a current mission at the time. That's good. Which is probably why he stuck around for as long as he has. I usually just 
travel and I just find these Stop people fucking looking at entertaining. me! Entertaining! <laughs> I'm looking exactly at Johnny. I just find them entertaining. He's like, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> You yeah. notice Johnny's tail has done the weird split thing, and the one that doesn't have a butter knife attached to it is currently cleaning up. <laughs> <laughs> he is alert. What? <laughs> what do you want from me? This is normal. Do you use the other half to butter your toast? <laughs> yeah, duh. And then sometimes I step, switch it with a stabby knife. <laughs> <laughs> no, I forget that I've done that. Fishing. That's now official. <laughs> Don't don't mix up the tails when you're cleaning. I feel like there's a fifty percent chance when I stab someone, my tail is the wrong knife. I want to say there's a fifty percent chance when you go to pick your ear, you stab no, yourself. No, he's in the done face. that. Technically, Classic that's that, that Monty Hall problem <laughs> where there's three doors, <laughs> and one of them gets open, and there's still a chance of getting the right tail with the not knife or the knife in the. Yeah, it's a mess. <laughs> As Probability you, goes as you walk me. onto the airship. Um, Vandal pulls a lever out and the door closes up, and you're locked into the lower deck of the ship. Oh god, I get claustrophobic. <laughs> and um, a speaker noise comes through from Ronald saying, "Hey, um, everybody, all good down there? You can shout something. I should be able to hear you now." <laughs> <laughs> should I take that as a yes? We're going. I'm scared. <laughs> yep. Um, quick question: Where's luggage and Drew? Ah, uh, they're at home. They will not be joining us. They don't want to die with us. <laughs> there's, there's this audible... Ha! Huh, oh, no. Voice that comes through. <laughs> and goes, okay, cool, we're going to take off then. I don't want to know anymore. The pilot that Drew's been... Yeah. Tormenting. <laughs> <laughs> and there is a bit of a shake and sort of an unworldly feel for... Um, um, for for, right? for Ingram as uh, the airship basically starts to take off. Can you take me to the top deck, please? Yep. Right away. Can I take... It feels wrong flying in something. <laughs> you, you, See, the sky is the same. Did he say strap in or strap on? <laughs> you, you, you wander up, but you sort of awkwardly sort of shaking around as you get up to the top of the top deck as it's sort of slowly ascending up into, and you can start seeing sort of an aerial view of the town that you were just in. Ever been on an airship? No. I should have warned you. <laughs> I did not know they were, you already told me were, it was an airship. Um, so I was oh, I mean, preparing I was, for, like, the flight. I have flown before, though normally through standard magical means. This, this is still the magic. first for me. <clears throat> it's more self-propelled magic. Yeah. Rather than another object. So it's more unsettling being on... Almost in a box that was flying. Oh, okay, so he's gonna cook for us now. There, there is a little bit of a relaxation. Unfortunately. Um, the, the irony is, I technically have all the food. Almost. There is there is farm equipment on, on board that's been given to these guys. Because <laughs> how else have they been feeding themselves since you guys left, basically? <laughs> to today we left. Yeah, no, but I mean, like when you guys. Yeah. There is food on board the airship. I always had personal rations. I never gave them to luggage. Uh, so it, it it takes a few minutes as it, the airship sort of gets to like its ascended height and then just kind of rocks a little bit. Yeah, now I'm cruising altitude. And then it just starts flying in a direction. <laughs> it's the luggage's voice pro- like recorded in. No! <laughs> Please God, no! As, as you guys sort of start flying basically north in the Rowan Bay direction, uh, Ronald sort of wanders out of the sort of cockpit area and goes, the skeletons have got it on uh, autopilot at the moment. Skeletons can fly an airship? Uh, not quite. Um, they... That's jinx. <laughs> skeletons can fly an airship? If you're saying that, <laughs> I say it with you. I mean, if you're not, I'm saying it. Uh, Ronald would be like, yeah, uh, when, when Seven came over before, he was talking about how we can do the basic instructions and I was just, I just told them what to do to keep the thing level and now we can fly. I, we can't do basic manoeuvres or anything fancy, but... Do you call okay, what... things by number? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the one that resurrected the skeletons was... His name's Seven. It's a very long story. <laughs> one that... I have time. <laughs> <laughs> so we have, yeah? we, we're travelling now. We could 
Uh, Ronald basically just says, I wanted to know, basically, do we want to fly over land or sea? Uh, it'd be faster if we cut across the sea, sort of the, the bay district, or whether we just go over the land. Just go over the sea. Yeah, as fast as possible. Yeah. Full speed or full... Wind. Hit as many birds as possible. <laughs> Hit anyone. Okay. And Ronald turns aside. I'll go down. power up the core. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ronald turns back and goes, uh, no, that's the one Stop thing we want to be careful about. There's a padlock, everybody has a key but me. Yeah. <laughs> take a break? Yeah, no, yeah. I, was, I was just basically bringing it around to a break point now as the airship starts heading north and uh, Far- Faragrim <laughs> is... Far- I'm trying to practice this. It, it is a D. As I said Grim because oh, it sounds Grim. like Grim. Faradrin. Grim. Is, is, Grim. Is, is, Grim. Is, Faradrin is filled in by Eric and now. Johnny a little bit about <laughs> sort of where the skeletons have come from and the airship, basically. Yeah. Like, I feel like he would call me Grim. <laughs> and we would do this. You, uh, you, you are Grimmy Grim. <laughs> if you don't insult, or if you insult people at the moment. Dungeons and Dragons? Of course you do. If you like people with New Zealand accents, of course you do again. Well, well, what if we told you there was a podcast that did both of those things in equal measure? Guess what? Here is. Wake up, bucko. It's called The Fate of Ice. And it's your new favourite tabletop role-playing podcast. Except for the one you obviously all are listening to, which is awesome, by the way. We roll dice, laugh a lot, and tell a surprisingly compelling tale about a plucky group of weirdos. Hey, who are you calling a weirdo? Who gets swept up in a quest to quote-unquote save the world of ice and... There's action, excitement, and there's a lot of apples. Seriously, there's way too many apples. It's uh, it got way out of proportion. Weird as my mother's top lip. Join us on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, or wherever else you get your podcast action. The Fate of Ison. New episodes every Sunday. Get with it. See you there. In a world that is stemmed from the mind of a madman, a dwarf. I am entering a maze. <laughs> a maze underground. A cat. Just a fun little question. Do mushrooms bleed? A lizard. So we should kill him first? An elephant. You know, I, I almost care about um, everyone else. And a cow? No, I'm wearing no armor. I'm a barbarian. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, they band together to fight and escape the drow infested deep down under to bring news of a new threat. This is the tale of the Guardians of the Gygaxi. Hey there, you beautiful person, you. Do you like podcasts? Well, that's a stupid question, because of course you do. Hi, my name is Harley, and I'm from the Necropoticon Network. I'm here invading your personal space because I wanted to invite you to come check out our shows. Oh man, we have a whole bunch, just like a big old assorted bag of candy type of deal. We have true crime, comedy, TTRPGs of varying kinds, movie reviews. The list goes on, I just don't have enough spit in my mouth for that. You can find all these shows and more on our website, necropoticon.com. We also have cast and crew profiles for every show on the network. What that means is, you get to see our beautiful faces. For free! The website is constantly being updated, so come on over and have a good time. What are you waiting for? 
No, seriously, what are you waiting for? You're on your phone, right? Or computer? All you have to do is, uh, I'll let you figure it out by yourself. Hello, hello, mate, and Towsis is here. Are you, do you want candy? Do you want candy, mate? I don't have any, but do you want one? That's what gnomes do, we have toilet rugs. <laughs> Can I take something home with me? Well, it, it depends on what it is. Bag, of, ho bag of hawk shit? Touches his face. <laughs> <laughs> with a very um, large, scarred hand that is also covered in hawk shit. Grisham lets you, but only because you're huge and intimidating. <laughs> and he just kind of grimaces while he <laughs> massages shit into his cheek. <laughs> and... <laughs> we'll begin this scene. <laughs> with... What one of what I What one Jurassic, Jurassic Park! <laughs> Jurassic Park! Gnome. A, a gnome, not a child. A, f a fully grown gnome. They're He's just, a little baby gnome. They're, I'm, no, they're I'm just older small. Than you. you want some of that, mate? We don't get any taller. They're size. just small. They're just small. Yeah. Rogue Hello, I'm Ben for what? How are you going? Uh, hi, I'm Marley Craft. Hello. Nice to meet you, big man. Hello, little fella. <laughs> ben for mutters to himself, You've done well, mate. <laughs> Fat men like Gluff. <laughs> um, so you take a seat, he glares at your shit sack. <laughs> <laughs> this slowly expanding pool. <laughs> yeah, the wind is like coming out of it. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he makes a show of picking it up gently as if he respects it and then very ki kindly, like, putting it on the floor, not far away from the other sacks, but not on the same table. Um, Ben 4 shouts quite loudly, It's a good move, mate. It's full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> also eating a muffin. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was eating a muffin. It was a very good muffin. Uh, uh, where I was in the bathroom stall and I overheard these young folks and uh, I just wanted to come down and I've always wanted to do good. So here I am. Uh, trestle spoon. <laughs> <laughs> just says trestle spoon at the end of every sentence. <laughs> and to do good trestle spoon... I was just hanging out with my two best friends, um, and they, they, you know, they they seemed to be pretty into it. We, we don't, we don't know him. Oh uh, yeah, it was a common joke what we make with each other.
Oh, okay. No, I do apologise to you all for interrupting introductions. Ooh, yeah. Sorry, guys. That is fine. We, we, we will allow the Dragonborn to... Dragonborn suddenly no. decides to underscore she the will... nap. If Dragon there is any kind of action, she will engage their abilities rather than jumping in. And unless one of you dies or falls down, she'll only heal you afterwards. Oh. <laughs> unless Johnny... So probably Johnny. If Johnny dies, <laughs> one, one Johnny of the things is people new. Die like fight beside me and die beside me. Those that I could die for. So, if you're part of my crew, that's fine. <sighs> that's cool. Goodbye, internet. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> right. So, yeah. as the airship goes through its first day of travel, and the Dragon Ball starts getting airsick okay. <laughs> because of suddenly. It actually works too. Um, <laughs> what do you mean, fly? Jo- Johnny, the have you created a room for the Dragon Ball? No. <laughs> have you telepathy? Are you going to let the Dragon Ball have a room somewhere? Because I think there's still a room. Uh, Dragon Ball's probably going to have Eren's room because he's still. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a room <laughs> still. You go and lug it. There are. There are. There now empty. Luggage doesn't have a room. Okay, you go in Drew's room for now. <laughs> So the, the, Dragonborn, the, dra- yeah. the Dragonborn is sort of feeling queasy and put into a room full of books. Yeah. <laughs> or at least it looks like books. Does and it have a porthole? Yeah, I cut a hole in the floor for you. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that go down to the bottom floor? Yes. I cut a hole through that floor as well. <laughs> there, there, there is a port window in each room. <laughs> you have there to is? aim! <laughs> Buy There's like a yeah, poorly man. made window and a well made window. Feel better by the time you get home. I'll probably be crawling into my bed and pretending like I died for the next few hours at least. Woohoo! Oh. Anyway. Mm. <laughs> um, That's Alicia! <laughs> <laughs> I need to open up box books. Meanwhile, as the ship fast travels, Goose, Goose, <laughs> it's gonna walk to Goose. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's gonna call her Goose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Human Talk. Goose. Talk Goose. Talking Goose. Bark Goose. <gasps> Ghost Lady. <laughs> anyway, he <laughs> wakes up. Dragonborn. <laughs> what? The fuck did you just say? <laughs> Dragonborn. And then I hold no, up no. a picture of a dragon. Goose. Goose so born. For, the, for the brief time that you guys see Bark interacts with uh, Parendrin, you do notice that he keeps calling her Goose. He will keep calling her Goose. She will correct and say Parendrin. He goes Parendrin and walk away. <laughs> Funny Goose. <laughs> we'll walk off. <laughs> uh, he he will call Faradrin by Faradrin's name, but will always mistakenly say Goose beforehand. <laughs> Goose Faradrin. Goose Faradrin. <laughs> um, so the the first night of you guys flying, basically, because you are going like this, you end up sort of as it sort of comes closer to the sort of late evening area. You've crest the um, sort of side of the uh, cliff sides of like the the sea and the land. And as it sort of comes through to that sort of night, um, you, let me show you how we got, one, two, three, four, all five vandals, six, paragraph seven. I feel like I'm the captain, I'm doing this. is eight, okay. <laughs> Fuck, there's a lot of people on here. <laughs> it's captain now. Yep. Fuck, if it's... I want shit. Johnny, what room are you in? Your room? Yeah. Cool. Uh, as the night comes to it, and you've all sort of had your weird sort of makeshift dinner thing that's been made up. By uh, Johnny. By Johnny. Yeah. Can you roll for our dinner? Yeah, yeah true. Roll, roll for our dinner, please. It could be good, you know. Can I roll to eat my dead goose <laughs> instead? I said could. If it's terrible. <laughs> if it's terrible. Come on. Please, schlock, uh, schlock, schlock, schlock. Was it deception or performance? It's performance. So it's a non-natural 20. Oh, oh, what? It's actually a decent meal. Holy shit. Yeah. It's, it's a meal. I have 11 for performance. <laughs> <laughs> that's not my character in a 
You waifu'd very well there. Um, so You've done, done well, Johnny. As, as you guys finish your meals and go to your respective sort of dinner areas and things, um, and you all sort of bounce off to your rooms. I go to the top and sit with Palcor. And sit down with Palcor. Um, hey. One of the first things you all... It's my beard. You guys all sort of immediately notice it's there isn't the beard. sound of just clomp, 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 clomp of luggage who would normally walk around the airship. Yeah. As luggage is no longer here. So there is a bit of getting used to that. Uh, Johnny, you do hear a thud, thud, thud on your door. <laughs> oh, God. Who is it? Me. Me who? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asleep. Roll deception. <laughs> <laughs> roll deception. Roll, roll deception. Fourteen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Skirting responsibility as usual. Oh, that's a twelve. It's <laughs> a twelve on insight, just not... Okay. <laughs> you, you, you hear the thud, thud, thud of him walking. Oh, um, fuck. <laughs> knock, knock, knock on Dio's door. It's just counting up the stuff. Knock, knock, knock it on Dio's door. <laughs> Hello? Hi. Come on in, friend. Yay. <laughs> and Bart opens the door and sort of. What do you in. want, Bart? It means you're going to start calling Dio mum. Book? Book! That's the idea. <laughs> Oh my god! My like barbarian <laughs> children. The gross. Wrong way. Gross. <laughs> None of that interracial thing. Barbarian isn't a race. <laughs> no, but no, he's a. It's <laughs> a, a human in a typewing. Anyway. Yeah, it's not that weird. No, no, I mean your parents are that. So. Uh, anyway. That you half typing? Where are we up to then? Magic curse. Uh, he walks. He walks and sits down and goes. We did eagle. I did eagle with luggage. Ah, eagle, yes. Yep, and he flicks through onto the next page. Uh, roll me an intelligence. I don't think I remember my intelligence. Do you not have your thing on you? <laughs> no! I might have, but... We'll say plus one. Fuck off. <laughs> hey, that's above average. Yeah. Fuck off. That 10 is average. Any plus is above average. Mm. Like, it's a compliment to your character. Yeah, my intelligence modifier, I think, is also plus two. Uh, not great. Mine is plus two. Hot shit over there. I'm a net 20. I've got minus one wisdom, though. Uh, where is your character? <laughs> she kick you in the head on the street. <laughs> I don't understand the streets. <laughs> hey, I'm from the past. I don't understand the streets. It's like the opposite of the streets. The past. Did you find it? Um, I think I found it. Yeah, I kind of left it in Henry's car, which has been driven up to total. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, damn it! More importantly, I left the popcorn in there. <laughs> no! Yeah. That was majorly disappointing last night. <laughs> hey, babe, can you make me some popcorn? Sure. Henry, there's no popcorn. That's <laughs> 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 when you desperately get Uber Eats. Nobody can fucking afford Yeah, that. I know. Oh, who the fuck buys over eats? Um, in I Auckland, it's crazy. You don't have a plus in intelligence. Oh, <laughs> I'm dumb fuck, anyway. You're an 11 in intelligence. Okay. So, so you're, so you're normal. Just, just a straight roll. Close. So you should have taken it. An 11! <laughs> That's <laughs> fine. Um, cool. Do you have to beat him or just be slightly uh, smarter? No, it's the, the DC is 10 to whether he learns the next animal. Because it's not that hard to <laughs> Just... <learn. laughs> What, uh, do I he, even know how to read this? He flicks, he flicks over to a <laughs> ox and calls it an ox for a few seconds. Fox. Fox. Can I hear Fox. this? Fox. Fox, yes. She just sleeps next door. Can I roll to throw my voice? Fox. Yes. <laughs> Fox. 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 Would that be performance? Yes. 24. Cox. <laughs> Cox. No, 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 no. No. Cox. F is for Fox. Cox. Cox. <laughs> no, Johnny! <laughs> 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 
There's like a little Can hole. Can I ask to um, punch him through? No, the... no, there's a little hole in the wall and you just see my like... cocks. <laughs> And then you, you just can, finger you point can straight through the hole. Astral and then the arm will appear on the other side of the wall. <laughs> you know, technically, it's not a mechanic and you can punch him. Go on, punch him. <laughs> oh my god! That's not the fisting I like. <laughs> um, Warm me a con save. Even though this isn't real damage, I just. <laughs> just knock me to sleep. Pretty much is what I'm testing. Uh, that would be 13. What's your save? Um. No, that'll be a fail. <laughs> I'm out like a light. <laughs> so, John, Johnny, just... You knocked me out. Fox. 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 I fell on my face. Bingo. Bingo, now night night. Okay. On the spot. He takes the book and just sort of... You can sleep here if you want. He walks over to his corner in my room. Good boy. And just sits down and... Is Monty still with me? Where is Monty? That's a good point. Uh, when you had dinner, you would have left him in like the kitchen to eat. I suddenly, went, where's if, if, Monty? And then Monty appears. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you question where Monty is, and walk into the, you, you, walk, you walk into the kitchen. <laughs> and Monty is just Mr. Roshi. <laughs> no, okay. If Monty's asleep, I'll just put a blank. Monty over is him. Mr. Roshi. Yeah, now. You, you you wander in. Monty, Monty is just asli- uh, is asleep <laughs> on the thing, and then you walk in, you turn around, and um. Dark Come is sitting on the other side of the kitchen because this is where he sleeps and he watches you uh, walk out and you hear him go, Oh, people, I'm so confused. It's fine. Okay. What was his first that walk out? No, no, this was uh, oh, dark. Just, just go to dark. sleep. Okay. He's the one I have barely interacted with. <laughs> it's because you're racist. <laughs> it's just because he's, he's not being with you guys. <laughs> when did they come out? I'm just assuming you're racist. I feel like you you have a lot of words, but you don't entirely understand what they That's mean. That's because I'm a monk. <laughs> yeah. Ah, racist, Aaron. <laughs> what does that mean? Racist, Aaron. It's <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It means highly intelligent. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Don't uh, quite understand the context. Ah, uh, Donald Trump's son. Ah, <laughs> uh, so what? The, the, the night goes through. Um, I... So Taught Ronald some more about magic. Yeah, you've you've talked to Ronald on, on top there for a bit. Yep. Um, this is how I make it. <laughs> as, <laughs> as as the morning increases, uh, everybody roll me a con save, I guess, to be woken up by What's the sack. Con? I was in. Holy fuck. <laughs> That's very fitting. I got a natural one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Call me a one be hundred, please. I, I was knocked out. <laughs> I got a ten. Ah, uh, it's plus two. Man, you're a fucking sleep. <laughs> not natural twenty. Oh, you you will have awoken to 80. the sound of a cat screaming. Oh no, I got a ten. What have I done? <laughs> you vaguely and you hear this noise. You're not sure what it is. It's just kind of like a. It's gone off. What did you roll? Eighty. You are the cat screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fish. The fuck fix? Um, it's in dark. As, as you sort of wake quiet. up and you, you, you hear this kind of noise and you open your eye for a moment and you're like, uh, and your hand is just glowing turquoise and you're just like, huh? <laughs> I did get this. And, and, and all, all of you is currently growing to corpse and you sort of look around and in the corner of your room is this shadowy figure that looks like he's just clutching his sides and just laughing but you can't actually hear him. <laughs> that was a weird trip. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you hear, and you kind of hear this because it's coming from the kitchen, the noise of something screeching. You very clearly can tell this is dark, making like a hissing noise. I'm gonna walk Dark, down. what the fuck, man? You, so, Dio gets up, bolts, and you kind of nonchalantly walk down the stairs. Yeah. You both get to the kitchen at the same time, and you walk in, and one side of the kitchen is Dark, who's got, like, two blades out, and he's sitting like this, and he's like, where did he come from? And sitting on the other side, about middle-aged looking, and sort of drinking a drink, is this quite, sort of, 20-ish looking Monty. And he's just like, hi. Monty. Hey, Monty. Hey. Oh, so, uh, he, he has a weird... Look, he can age young and old very quickly, okay? That's the easiest way to describe it to you. Dark just goes, okay, and he gets off the chair, and he just turns and just walks out of the room. Monty just goes, I'm staring at him, because I still don't know much about him. <laughs> he's cat. 
Can I roll a performance to sing blue dava dee dava da? Go for Rupert. Yeah, go for Rupert. Uh oh. Natural 20! Everybody hears it! Everybody hears the song. Blue dava dee dava da! Copyright. Somebody help me! I'm turquoise. Dava dee dava da! Monty just goes, hold on. And then suddenly appearing in the room in front of you, Monty's just standing there and he's like, <laughs> Alright, cool. And then just vanishes again and then reappears back in front of you guys. Hey, Monty. Oh, it's, it's just Johnny. He's glowing. So, when did you turn young geese? Yeah, he is. He's looking on point. Are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> are you fucking gay? Everyone's gay for Johnny. <laughs> That's my charisma word. That was a 19, that's a yes. What was the question, sorry? <laughs> when did you turn youngish? Like, during the night or in front of him? Is that why he freaked out, or...? It happens in sort of morning-ish, daybreak kind of period. Alright. Cool. Just decide sign where. Hmm. Okay. It sort of varies, though, because different continents are in different time zones, so that might get kind of... Okay. ...weird. You, you can't hug my boobs when you're in this state, though. Seriously? Yeah. It's like the now best part. Wait, what? You allow him if he's a kid or yeah, he's old, like, but when he's norm, like no, 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 middle aged. Because it's like see now old and like adorable and then young, cute and adorable. No, 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 no. And then. <laughs> that's, that's like the best part though. Somebody help me! <laughs> I just. I just, I just my believe coffee. I'm like, what you, is You go to swig your coffee and the cup disappears from your hand and Monty's holding it. You don't get this anymore. <laughs> Seriously, I touched that cup guys. at some point today. That means it can always be appear. Monty, in my hand. please give me my coffee. <laughs> guys, my pee's blue. <laughs> Just the coffee. Monty, no uh, blackmailing. What do you mean no black? I'll call you by your proper name. The best part of everything, and she's not letting me do that. How was that fair? Shut up, five. Is that turn to leave? Monty, please, there's can this, I have another this cup of coffee? There's tick that goes off in his head when he says five, and he's just like... I'm a developed character. I'm a developed character. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just a trope. I'm not just a trope. <laughs> Monty, it's okay. I'm more than one aspect can of Can I please character. have another cup of coffee? And then he just vanishes. God damn it. Somebody, come on! Oh, Everything's blue, blue. blue. Yeah. My pee is solid. As, as I'm assuming you're walking back on top <laughs> deck. You appear on top deck and Monty's sitting there just sitting there talking to Falcor. Just sort of patting Falcor. He's grumpy because I wouldn't let him touch my boobs. <laughs> Guys, my blood's blue too. Dude, we don't give a fuck. <laughs> you're he already looks blue. at you and just like, can, can we just knock Johnny out? It'd be easy, right? <laughs> Just hear a lot of screaming. Just, just thump him in the face. Can someone like, please I mean, I knock can Johnny out, times. please? That helps. Are you still wanting a coffee? Can I have a coffee and knock the Johnny the fuck out, please? <laughs> Usually I make the coffees. That Johnny, make nice. raw coffee! I, help! <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, I'm gonna make my own coffee. coffee. Oh, okay, okay, I'm good. There's a lot of blue blood in my room. But <laughs> roll, roll performance. Wait, why are you bleeding? <laughs> because I wanted to see if my blood was blue. 17. <laughs> Bad coffee. <laughs> so you're bleeding? Yeah, because I was like, every part of me is blue, so I try the pee. <laughs> it's blue. And so I cut my veins and so, it's blue. So, so Johnny walks out of the hallway and walks past you guys, and he looks like he is just stripes of red and blue at the moment. Why did nobody help me? We don't care! <laughs> this wasn't my fault, though. <laughs> I'm teaching Monty common etiquette. Not to demand stuff like that. You're them. talking to him and he's just, I'm not a child. I you're acting like it. <laughs> no, she's acting like it. It's not fair. She went and let me hug her boobs when I was younger. And then when I was old, I wasn't allowed to. I think, <laughs> I don't know. Why now? What did I do differently? I didn't do anything wrong. He just sort of sits down and he's just moping. <laughs> it's a bit childish of you as I have blood dripping down my forehead. <laughs> you're a bit childish. <laughs> uh, okay. Being Maybe truthful you suggestion is on him and tell him to calm down. <laughs> Oh, what's your and, deep, oh no, it won't be. Yep. He's just calm to actually listen to me. <laughs> the suggestion of listen to Aaron, he just so goes, huh? As I'm trying to teach him comedy <laughs> again, he's being an idiot. <laughs> so, m most of the trip, you guys are basically flying over open waters. Um, 
not a lot happens throughout most of this day. Um, actually, roll me perceptions if you're on deck at any point during the day. Yeah, I'm usually on the top. I think my perception's like plus 13. six, I think. You have a good perception. Yeah. yeah. Monk's man. Mine's plus two. Plus three. Four, and I have proficiency. Plus seven. Even. Yeah. Awesome. 27. Uh, did you get an extra 20? Yeah. You oh, see okay. everything. Thirteen. You see, I see the universe. You see my you're smoking on my skooma. <laughs> Bruh. You see um, my blob. You're, you're, blob you're, 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 <laughs> as, as you're flying along, you sort of just walk out at one point. You're all sort of different times sort of looking out over the deck. Not, not much in notice. Sup, Monty? You still sulking? <laughs> yeah. You talk to Monty. Monty just continues to sulk somewhere else in the ship. When he comes out, when you see him, he just vanishes. You can assume he's just taken a different point in the ship in time for himself. Can I just? Just quite a second, Monty. Look, just, just stop sulking. Just, just come and talk to me at some point. God damn it. Anyway, I look out at the ship. <laughs> okay, you yeah, just look out. And, yeah. <laughs> you want you're like somebody who is assaulting you to like you. That's the weirdest <laughs> thing. I could still consider him a child. You shouldn't. <laughs> he acts like a child. He's. Um, probably insane. Yeah. It's alright, I relate to him well then. Time travel fucks your brain. <laughs> so I'm trying to teach him common etiquette while he's actually got a sane brain. Um, as, as you're flying, uh, you guys are flying in the airship o- over the sea, you sort of look out and you notice that sort of in front of you, like you probably pass over this airship uh, in the airship at some point during the day, but you notice there is a ship that is also seen to be heading north as well. Flying? No. Um, oh, good. <laughs> I was just you guys say, are flying over uh, the ocean, so you're up here, and you, there's a, an airship in the distance that you sort of look at. And go, there's a there's a boat that's down there. You there's a water ship. Fly over. <laughs> an <laughs> inferior <laughs> ship. Hey, uh, hey guys. They're beneath us. Guys, guys, guys. Th- there's a boat down there. Do, do we want to get a little lower and see? Do we be pirates? <laughs> <laughs> we could be. Yar. <laughs> I put a hat on. <laughs> <laughs> Parrot appears. <laughs> it's goose. <laughs> it's a goose, yeah, no, go, goose. Goose appears next to you and makes a <laughs> noise like he's trying to make this a This is the one thing me and Goose cooperate on. <laughs> we're, yeah, working, pirates. we're working on this gimmick for a while. <laughs> yeah. Polly uh, on a crack. <laughs> Polly won meat off the bone. <laughs> <laughs> and then he starts nibbling on your ear. No, oh my god. <laughs> Stop with talking Anyway, about do that. we want to go it. down to the ship or you, do you just not? You can do what you want. Bish, I'm asking you! Why are you picking a fight? <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> I'm probably on my period, damn it! <laughs> what? Mugs don't have periods. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm asking everyone. Ro- Ro- Ronald walks out and sort of goes, well, What's going on? Ronald, there's a ship she down there. She wants to. Go closer to the ship? I'm oh. asking if we want to go closer to the ship and see who it is. I mean, yeah, I can lower the ship down. We could start yelling at them, I guess. It could work. Yeah? I feel like we should just drop a cannon on them. No! <laughs> we don't have any cannons in here. I drop something heavy. No! Luggage isn't here anymore. Actually, we could drop skeletons on it. That'll freak No! <laughs> can skeletons survive fall damage? No, no. Oh, they would freak them out more. Bones suddenly <laughs> shot. <laughs> I would lose my mind. It was like a pile of bones. Just Fitz, lands in front of me. Fitz, Fitz walks in. Do you still and, have um, Warforge pieces? Yeah. <laughs> Fitz, Fitz walks up from lower deck and goes, I mean, if we want to drop bones, I've got some bones we can drop. <laughs> okay, let's pretend this is a democracy and vote to drop bones. No! So we're dropping bones. We're dropping bones. We're dropping bones. Okay. I'll go grab my bones. I got my shovel. Put this down. I wish yeah. I hadn't seen the boat. Hey, you not, wanted to pick a fight. I'm not agreeing or disagreeing. Here, it doesn't give a shit. A few, few minutes goes by and Fitz not comes back helpful. up and um, piles up a few pieces care. of what looks like about You're two three skeletons in a pile inside of the ship. And he goes, okay. He's a late pick. If you hit a guy, it's worth 10 points. If you sink the ship, that's 1,000 points. Are we going lower or are we we're just dropping the bones on? Let's do it from here. No, no, no. We're going to go lower because then I hopefully can yell at them. I'm sorry. My my idiots are being Slide idiots. Hands. <laughs> well, Ronald just goes, okay, Um, so within shouting distance. So yeah. About 200 feet, 100 feet. Okay. Yeah, yeah we can do that. Oh. 
Slide it's just you. Johnny off no, the no. boat. And slide a hand. I have to be able to beat you first. Why are you slide of handing? <laughs> I'm going to just drop a boat. <laughs> no. At, at the moment, I would say that would be pointless because you're not above the, the ship yet. So you still drop a boat. <laughs> <laughs> have a spot. He's practicing That's a non-natural drop. 20. <laughs> you don't see that. Drop the mic. No one, no one sees that there, there is now a boat in the center of the pile. <laughs> I want to see if he dropped it. I got a natural 20. I watched you. <laughs> <laughs> you quietly wink and you're like, I'm not flawless, but I don't want to be blamed. <laughs> I, I nod to you. <laughs> Gentlemen's agreements. <laughs> Fuck somebody up. Uh, so a, f- a few minutes goes by as the airship basically catches up. It was actually about an hour for you guys to catch up above the airship and it starts sort of lowering down its height but still keeping speed with this Can boat. Can I look at the detail we're, on the boat? The on the boat. That's what I yes. wanted to look at. We're like the boys uh, in a 90s movie. We're pulling up with a better vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> what am I looking at? Perception? Yeah, perception. Uh, 9 plus 7. 11. Oh, fine. I'll look too. Natural 20. <laughs> 16 <laughs> 20, 20, 20, 20. So, so the, the group of you sort of lean over the ship it's just oh, like start shit. going down and it's like oh yeah this, 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 the brigands look recently repaired it looks like it'd be pretty good Johnny you're staring at this boat and I had sex with that guy and you're, at, and you're looking at it and then you realise that's my boat that's Cornello that's, that's the boat that I tricked the guy at Neil Hart into <laughs> selling to that's my boat <laughs> That's my boat from Neil Hart. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay. Now, what do you say with this information? Sink it! <laughs> <laughs> no! I, no. No, I refuse. You're like a two in bed. <laughs> You're like a wet fish. Can I, can oh. I knock Johnny out? No. Oh. What, is, what are you saying about sinking it? Like you give um, I said very loudly, sink it. <laughs> right, I'm no, not helping with sinking. I'm not helping either. You don't have to help. I don't care about chopping it. skeletons, but sinking it. Fitz just kind of stares at the boat. Why are we trying to sink it? Just for fun. That's it, it's the people on and, that and, boat. And he starts staring at the boat and he goes, looks familiar. I know, right? <laughs> I'm, not sure where, I'm not sure where. I'm, I'm it sure used I'm to sure. be my boat. They stole it. I gaslight him. <laughs> Roll me deception. Yeah. <laughs> Natural 20. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> yes. When did, you, when did you run a boat? Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> it doesn't okay. have to be a good lie. No. <laughs> okay. So I guess... The sun just hits me. It looks and, super charismatic. And, 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 and Fitz just sort of pulls his gun out. I, I'm I still guess wearing a skull. Yeah. Do, you want, do you want to try and... Like, egg the captain on or something? No, no, just put a hole in it and make them sink the whole I mean, thing. It'll take a while, it'll take a couple of shots. Sweet. Okay. So yeah. That's sort of lines up the gun on the I go to Ronald. Just take off. <laughs> <laughs> I quickly throw bones. <laughs> Please, Ronald, take off. Cool. Uh, roll me an attack. Yeah. Sorry, I message Ronald. Because I, I can't be bothered walking <laughs> over to him. Uh, is it just straight dice? Or is it plus something? Uh, it's, you, it's your unarmed strike thing you've got because you're throwing a unproficient weapon. Ooh, which okay. is a bone. Okay. <laughs> I'll sink it with the skull. <laughs> <laughs> He's throwing bones at the ship. It's whether he'll actually get the ship. Mr. Bone Jangles. I think that makes it a 10. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. I hit the boat. <laughs> yeah, so as, as the, two as, as the ship suddenly, the airship starts to suddenly go up in the air again and sort of start moving a bit more. Johnny just stuck. Fuck you, Chad! You broke my bones, heart. Fitz sort of looks around. He goes, "Are we shooting this thing or what? We seem to be going away. <laughs> Shoot quickly!" Okay, fine. He fires a shot off, and there's this massive noise. And you guys who are on the side of the deck watch this crew go nuts. Give me another perception. Oh, fucking hell! Come on, twenty. Oh, nineteen. I would have got a net twenty, but twenty-three. Perception. Six. Okay. I've um, already walked off. Yeah, that's Johnny. 22. Johnny and Dio <coughs> sort of watch as the crew starts going nuts, and I don't really. No, you never interacted with him. Um, you see a small man running around. Yes, I did. did. You did interact with him. Yes. You, you see a familiar-looking dwarven man running around the airship. Uh, the bottom. Johnny's of the up here. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the ship. I throw a bone in the face. <laughs> <Can> they catch <laughs> it. 
Yeah, uh, you can spend a key point to catch it, oh, no matter shit. whether he Yep, I'm going to spend a key well, point to catch it. Well, that stops you from talking. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do both. Yes, I can. No. You're going to be concentrating to catch it. Yeah. But you do get one shout out. He's up here! Roll, roll me a performance. Yeah, I'm not good at that. Yeah, three. Yes! <laughs> I don't know if there's anything else. I'm going to take a bone to the face, but it's worth to cover the lie. <laughs> Fuck, I hope I didn't throw a rib. <laughs> That would hurt. Uh, performance. <laughs> uh, not plus anything. So it's just a three. three. So you start shouting something and the bone comes flying and you catch it. It completely throws you off your game. What are you yelling? Fuck it, Johnny. I'm trying to get you arrested. <laughs> you can see why I threw it. Aaron's burst out laughing. <laughs> um, you do notice, however, with, him, with your random noise, he looks up and looks right at the airship <clears throat> and sort of Kind of looks like he seems to half recognize he's going two type links. <laughs> no, I'm wearing a skull. <laughs> he sees the pirate head on. As the airship no, starts to take off in the air. And he goes, and you guys see him sort of getting the crew sort of eager. And it looks like the ship starts moving a little bit faster than it was before. Cool. Oh, shit. But you you guys are going faster than it, though. Also, we're in the air. <laughs> yeah, that's why So what do they hope to do? <laughs> Johnny, you fucking get down on the ship. <laughs> they can't get out. I will throw you over. <laughs> I go back to meditating. <laughs> <laughs> It'll sort itself out. And so as with basically, I'm like, all right, yeah, they'll, they'll do something now. Yeah. Um, as, yeah. as this day comes to an end, um, there, you are all constantly aware of the fact that there is a boat following you. Okay, that's fine. Until we get away any, from the water. And any of you, because you guys are basically going like this. Mm. So every time you guys sort of come out, you it, it's a little <clears> bit further <throat> each time, but the boat is very clearly coming in the same direction. Mm. I'm going to um, talk to Ronald. Yep. About um, asking him about the Phoenix thing he was part of. The Phoenix group? Mm. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, what do you, what do you I was asking, like, does he know much about the encampment that was nearby um, Silverthorn? Um, so he goes, well, it was sort of a setup encampment. Like, we we basically, when we went to sites, we would set up, we were there, we'd take what we need. We, we never really stayed in one set location. Were you part of there or were you part of a different one? I was part of that one, yeah. Do you know if I actually went into Silverthorn? I don't know where the others went. I was just part of the crew that was to control the airship and the whole dragon fiasco thing. Okay. Did you recruit people from isolated villages? No, I wasn't part. I, I was I recruited. No, I mean, not you, but the Phoenix, whatever it is. Did yeah, they no, they, they, they recruited us from different areas. They, they, they go to, like, universities and, like, places so, of... I pull out this leader. What's the... Is this university part of it? It sort of looks at me. Not certainly. I mean, it's not part of it, but it's one of the universities they would go to to grab people. Okay. Um, I'm just going to ask him information about the Ron area in the Rowan Bay. Um, he can't give me much information about Rowan Bay, because he's not from Rowan Bay. Hmm. But he just knows on that name, and he knows of a few bits and details about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, as the night comes to a close and you're sitting on the deck... Um, Who's cooking dinner? Johnny, roll dinner. Johnny's always cooking dinner. <laughs> Should we first roll to see who gets there first? <laughs> and then roll performance. Uh, who else is going to be cooking it? I'm not cooking. Oh, okay, good. So it's just me this time. <laughs> He's fighting the luggage usually. So. Unless, um, Morty cooks? He wouldn't know how to cook. I mean, if, if you want food that suddenly becomes ingredients in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Long 22. Carrot. That would be bad. <laughs> that would have been better than what Monty would have called. Yeah. I don't want a carrot that suddenly becomes carrot shake. <laughs> oh, no! It's not quite how his thing I missed the taste. Way. Yeah, but my misunderstanding is that's what I tell people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dinner, dinner's pretty good. Yep. You guys sort of head off to your respective rooms. Uh, sitting on the top of the deck, sort of looking at the stars. Um, you just sort of like lying on the floor, and then suddenly this book just gets shoved in your face. <laughs> huh? <clears throat> I like get out from my days. Who? What? Okay, it's Bog. Hello, no, Bog. it's Monty. <laughs> I assume it's Bog. It's Bog. <clears throat> Hello. I've never had the ritual happen to me yet, have I? 
No. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> read. Yes, I can read it. Me. I open. Start reading it. In your head. He's, he's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He sits down next to you. And as you're sitting on the first page, he will read it aloud right next to you yeah. as, you're, as you've got the page there. Oh. Simple barbarian. <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> roll me an intelligence. <laughs> Net one. <laughs> you, you get up. Fuck if you. You, you get to a box, and he goes box, and you like, very good, and you flick over, and it's a goat, and he looks at it, and he goes dragon, manticore. G- yeah, <laughs> manticore. <laughs> <laughs> the male ones are called goats and the female ones are called manticores. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> I'm done. See you next, see you next week. I got a net one, I can't argue with anything. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, Manticore. He nods, gets up, and starts walking away. Very chuffed, and turns back and goes, Bingo! I nailed it tonight! <laughs> <laughs> you see first, the subtitles? First, I nailed it! <laughs> first try, and he's almost down the deck. What happened? It's like he rolled a natural 20. <laughs> sure, I rolled a 1! I'm not even. He can't be this five This is why times. you're not useful! <laughs> he just doesn't care. So the, the next day goes through. Um, um, Who taught him goat was meant to call? <laughs> the, the next day comes through. Uh, you wander into the kitchen to make your coffee. There's 10 year old Monty. Hi, Monty. No, you're in a shitty strop with me. You can say sorry first. Stop! <laughs> say sorry first. I'm sorry. That was yesterday, Monty. Yeah. I'm not yesterday, Monty. I'm today, Monty. Okay, can I have a cup of coffee first? I can't make it at the moment. <laughs> Alright, I'll make I'll make a cup I'm of coffee. Come, come and hug then. <laughs> I'm gonna make a cup of I'm gonna, coffee. I'm gonna hand you a glass of water and precipitate it to make it coffee. Or well, make it taste like and all that with coffee. That's pretty much what it is like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's bean juice. <laughs> it's some bean. Squeezed beans. <laughs> it's, it's skooma juice. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting that stone off my face good. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's fucking cooked on this. <laughs> <laughs> you just hit the faint. <laughs> uh, so, uh, other than you guys sort of still carrying oh, on, oh, fuck. Uh, based off the height perceptions of anyone who's on top deck, you are gonna get done. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna yeah. go back up top. <laughs> no. 10. 17. Top deck or deck? I, uh, whether you're on top deck or not. Mm. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're standing on sixteen. You're standing up in the sort of upper deck area, and Johnny, you sort of walk out and just sort of look around. You can still see some of the land. Over I'm there distracted sort of... by Monty on my boobs while I'm trying to drink my muscular <laughs> juice. <laughs> it's just got me. <laughs> Keep it inside, guys. Yeah. Have some claws. Shut your ass up, Paul! Whoa, <laughs> I say serious I Johnny lost. today. <laughs> I say I have some my belt's undone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Johnny sort of looks out and sort of like this ocean that way. It's, you guys kind of both sort of look around. You both can see the trailing boat behind you still. It's it's still going. <laughs> it's <a> spit. <laughs> Lance on the, bo- on the floor. Could have spat off the boat. <laughs> No, it did spit off the boat. But it blew back on. It's like, oh, can't even do that. You you guys kind of look north and you realise you can see a bit of a a, a city that's probably about a day's, based off the way you're flying, it's probably about a day away. Just because of how high you are and the fact you're going to have to drop down. Can I fuse with Falcor and fly there? To the city? Yeah. Probably not. Dio's <laughs> sick of everyone. Yeah, I really <laughs> am. Deep is over the ocean. And you're like, That's oh, probably no. what would happen. <laughs> it's a ten minute period per flight. Could I swim? You'd have to survive the fall first, but you probably would swim and you'd probably end up behind everyone. You can't. You're not uh, faster than a boat that flies. I wish I was. We so all wish we were. Are you just wanting to swim to Rowan Bay? 
I'm just wanting to get off the ship from that idiot. <laughs> what did I do this time? Did I pass a little bit? One of the skeletons walks up behind you and picks up your pants and Thanks. ties your belt. <laughs> Thanks, and then Pants. Continues so. walking around. <laughs> hey, Where's Monty, I don't suppose you can, like, time travel me through over to that place, could you? Monty's sort of looks Or is it up. just you? Um. I can go to places I've been to without an issue. So you haven't been there? I haven't been there. I mean, I can do this, and then he just vanishes and then reappears, and he's holding a handful of silver thorns. See, ten-year-old me's been to Silverthorn, so I can grab Silverthorns. Oh, thank you. I mean, but, How many Silverthorns have I got now? Like three. Awesome. There's a bit of blood as well. Mm. Awesome. They're incredibly sharp. I should yeah, know. <laughs> <laughs> he grabbed them from the path that Johnny's been walking through. It's not. It's so not his blood. It's Johnny's blood. It's disease blood. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell has got out? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. But I, I, I haven't taken people with me to places before. It's only where I've been. I took a rat once. <laughs> didn't but if I've rats. been to the same place as you, could I theoretically come? Seems incredibly dangerous. <laughs> this is the exact place he's been. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, confusing the poor child. Have you seen that play, The Fly? <laughs> 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 it might be like that. <laughs> no, I'm just curious. You don't know? Do you, do you want to try by taking an object with you first? Like You can take objects easily. Okay. Objects aren't people. Do you want to take a... Well. Can he take like an animal with him? And see if it'll work? Okay. So, don't touch Falcor. <laughs> hey! No, I'll be like, Bark! Out of character. <laughs> summon a duck! <laughs> if you summon enough ducks, that's a different argument. But... Yeah. Bark, summon a duck. Bark, or summon duck. What was your argument? How many? many? It's One! Only... Uh. But can okay, you... okay, two. One for you, one for me, okay? Two. Oh, man. Roll of persuasion. I think if she doesn't get it, he controls the amount. <laughs> uh, I don't know what my persuasion is. But... What's it? Twelve? Twelve. Or just a straight twelve. <laughs> yeah, just summon a magical. Yeah, twelve. He decides, doesn't he? Two. Oh, he's big out! 40 ducks a minute! <laughs> I thought he had a limit per day. <laughs> he does, yeah. Um, he goes, two! Pulls out the sword, he goes, two ducks! And the end of the sword glows and the sort of light goes through, and then, poof, 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 as five ducks appear around it. <laughs> and he goes, two ducks! Close enough. <laughs> Can't even control okay, your idiot. Monty! <laughs> Monty, can you try and. Travel with a duck. At least Who's controlling was, you? At least when he was mine, he listened. No, I'm, cur- I'm curious. Monty, can you t- try and travel with a duck? Where's shirts over? Monty walks over to the duck and tries to grab the duck and barks just like, Over there! And the duck walks away from him. Bark! <laughs> over there! And the duck's in the sort of walking and bark. Bark. Yeah? Can you, can you make the duck walk over to Monty, please? Is, Mon- one, of them Monty. A, is one of them a goose? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Okay, Monty, now pick up a duck. One, one of them's deformed to look like a goose, but it's still a duck. <laughs> one of it's like a pink now, sheet. Just, very just small travel shorts. anywhere that you want. Like, maybe to Silverthorn and back again. See what that looks like. Fuck, he's gonna pick up an egg. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just curious. I'm curious as well. I'm With this duck? Kind of a... Yeah, that duck. Okay. And then he vanishes and the duck just goes... Huh, well that answers that question. It's like that as well. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. And maybe maybe because the duck in. hasn't been there before. And then he pulls back again and goes, No, it didn't come. Probably because it hasn't been there before. True. Yeah. It's a wormhole. It's not time travel. <laughs> I'm curious! That's why you're having such trouble with this. No, because if I figure out... Wait, what... does Johnny understand the <laughs> wormholes and time travel? No, I'm if we about figure out what, he, what his actual thing is, then maybe he can you. figure it out. <laughs> Yeah, true. I'll roll the persuasion. <laughs> hey, got, is everybody going to believe me? Natural twenty. <laughs> okay, let's see. I sound really professional. Yeah. Close, yeah. I'm. I'm. Net twenty. I think you're bullshitting. I got <laughs> yeah. seventeen. I'm like, it doesn't make sense. Wormhole time travel. Who's deception is? Uh, yeah. Who's in, What's insight? your deception? Your insight. Oh, do I have to do insight? Yeah, because yeah. it's my deception. I've got net plus eight. It's still net twenty. I can't. I know, net but you both there. got net twenty. So. Yeah. Mm. So, so then it what's, goes to what's your what's eight? Your, eight. Yes, yeah, so you still don't. <laughs> <laughs> Your modifier is plus four. 
I'm in my head. Yes. <laughs> there, there is enough doubt that you know he's probably full of shit, but it doesn't like make sense that what he's saying makes sense. I'm suddenly wearing a monocle. <laughs> like what? He, what he's saying makes some sort of sense, Sometimes, but you also know it's Johnny. I think you have the same ability as uh, Morty <laughs> to just have things appear. <laughs> I am an idiot. It's called Monty, not Morty. Morty, Monty, what Monty, Morty. Oh no, five. He's changing universes. <laughs> Sorry, Rick. His name is Five. No, it's seven. No, that's the other guy. Eleven. <laughs> Eleven's dead. Yeah. What number are you? I'm neither. I'm none of the numbers. That's Eleven was his mum. No, that's a no. weird number. No, it was only eight. <laughs> eight. Oh, sorry, my bad. <laughs> what did you do to his mum? Oh, I didn't do anything to his mum. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't even know who Aaron's parents What? This is why we don't get any good dumb. Just shut him down here, boo. Where's Shirty Skelly? I made nipples at home. <laughs> I had pants, I put pants on me. <laughs> you're, you're walking around and, and there's a skeleton with just like 40 shirts on. <laughs> <laughs> There is a skeleton that walks around and Yeah, a I would have had one do both, but that was too complicated. <laughs> okay, we're just... There, there is, there's a skeleton walking around with a few different layers of outfits walking around and just show it. Thank you, Shirto. <laughs> as, as you call it, Shirto, Bark grips you by the neck and goes, Chip. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's Chip. <laughs> He's Chip. Oh, okay, sorry. Shirto is a nickname. Ducks this way. And Bark just sort of walks on. Bark. I put my shirt on. <laughs> and I change my pants. <laughs> and I piss them. <laughs> Turns around and looks at you. Who taught you men to core? <laughs> I'm pissed off! You wouldn't know he knows that. No. Yeah. It's no. going to be a surprise when you talk about goats. And, unless you guys witness um, I swear to God. <laughs> I'm going to bitch slap you as soon as I find out you taught a man to core. It turns out, like, every night I go to his room and put the wrong poster up. It's <laughs> <laughs> a minor illusion. I wait for you to go to sleep. Minor illusion, a poster through the wall. Uh, so Park wakes the up the rest of the day up. is just this sort he of caught me chaos. Off while I was asleep. <laughs> um, it's your fault. It comes to the evening. Uh, dinner man, roll dinner. Come on, Come on wench. Keep the streak going. Natural one! <laughs> Roll me a down. Oh no. Oh no. I'm um, gonna kill us. I need food poisoning. I'm gonna person. skip dinner this tonight. Uh, depending on what it is. <laughs> 97th. Yeah, I'm gonna skip dinner tonight. I'm gonna presentate my dinner so it looks like a decent dinner and tastes like it, and I'm not gonna care. I'm gonna skip it. Well done, Johnny. You've done yourself again. <laughs> <laughs> so who's in the kitchen with him when he starts cooking? Oh no! Um, I'm not. I no, have... to be fair, I had two successful dinners in a row. Yeah, I mean, you're in, you're yeah. in the kitchen. No. I don't care what's happening. <laughs> I'm curious. Johnny's sitting there cooking food. Turns and looks at you and just goes Phoom, and throws a spoon at you. <laughs> I roll a d4 for damage. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Are you yeah. a d4? I'm, Doesn't he have to get, roll to hit? Nope. Oh, it automatically succeeds. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> that is you, two points of damage. You see your nearest ally or foe and succeed on a single attack against him. <laughs> the spoon goes <laughs> in my forehead. Oh my god, I'm so strong. It's not even sharp. I'll re-roll for dinner. <laughs> Sweet. You are interrupted while making dinner. Oh my god. We get another one. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna skip dinner. No, it's 19. I'm gonna skip dinner. The dinner is pretty good. Yeah. I'm fasting. <laughs> You're fasting. a friend of Anna's like me. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> offensive. I know it's massively so, offensive. That's the joke. So, um, the night comes through, everyone sort of starts going to bed. Aaron is sitting on the deck. I also do it when everyone's <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Aaron, I swear to fuck. You came to me last night. Go to someone else. Oh, but fuck. Are you suggesting on him? Go to someone else. <laughs> These are not the choices you're looking for. <laughs> what, who, are you, who are you suggesting? <laughs> Johnny. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Johnny, you hear a... Dum, dum, dum. I'm asleep. <laughs> Again, it was like, can I get two for two? Let's find out. Maybe not. Deception 12. 
Boom, boom, poof. Door kind of um, comes and off a jar, pokes his head in. Johnny, <laughs> are you awake? <laughs> are you awake, Johnny? Performance. I'm gonna like <laughs> fade into the wall. <laughs> He, 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 he walks over to you and... Does a homo sit in the back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> as, as, as you're lying there, trying to... This isn't a bush. I'm just like Pro- a prostitute. Stay still. Stop. Fuck's sake. 25. Oh my god. I'm really good at stealth. <laughs> he walks in and sort of looks around. And just, it's too dark. Johnny. Oh, Johnny was here. Maybe he's not here. <laughs> and he sits down and you hear him muttering to himself for a few minutes and then snoring. <laughs> I slink out of the room. You're an asshole. <laughs> Could have just read to him. Last time I helped, I made it worse. I don't Same want, here. I don't want Drew to hit me. That's what happened. I made it worse once and then I've taught him like successfully maybe two words. I taught him meant to call. I'm just not smart. I'm meant to <laughs> To be fair, you half taught him goat meant to call. Okay. <laughs> He knows the genders of goat. <laughs> Fuck off! Goat and manticore. Okay, so we'll just we'll just say that all goats are goats. <laughs> there is no. Was it male goat is goat? A male, a male goat is a goat and a female goat is a manticore. Yeah, so there's, there's no, no female females. goats ever. It's a whole male. <laughs> On what planet does that make sense? It doesn't have to make I sense in his head as long as it's like. Females have long, confusing names. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you've taught them. Yeah, for one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next day he goes, comes in. Um, but a but is. It's Monty gonna be an old fuck or a young fuck? <laughs> this is a good question. He's gonna be a baby. Monty is still the same age. Yeah. Um, you guys fucking. <laughs> <laughs> As, no! As, as, as the new day kicks in. Yeah, that's what Aaron's done into um, that's that's question. That's true. It is, actually. <laughs> as, as the day kicks in, um, you all have your breakfast and things sort of go on top deck, and you can all see the city sort of come in closing, and, and Ronald sort of walks in and goes, um, I could probably bring the airship down, and we can sort of just sail in and park up at the docks, if you guys are cool with that. So he's just trying to keep the ship constantly afloat yes, and Yes, please. Airship's actually able to go into water. Yeah, it's, um, uh... It's a boat. Uh... Johnny, fix that hole. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? There's a hole, remember? The vomit hole. Johnny, For the dragon. Johnny, ah. fix the hole. <laughs> I run to <laughs> the next uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> oh shit, why did nobody tell me? <laughs> I patch various other holes. That is the only one. In the middle of patching this, um, Fitz will be wandering behind you and he's using a mending spell. So. <laughs> doing a much better job. You're know, half fixing things, which makes the mending spell that much easier because okay. you're essentially doing it without glue and he's just gluing it. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like. <laughs> he keeps wandering behind and watering things. Gotta go he's like, the ship. pulls out his scorpion. <laughs> the, the entire yeah, yeah, thanks for the snack. Thanks for the scorpion off. Gives it back and he's like, why? <laughs> are, are you going to bite the scorpion? <laughs> no! <laughs> no, I grab it quickly like somebody who's not looking and go like, thanks. Um, and just <laughs> I've got a sleight of hand to confuse the scorpion. You take three points of <laughs> As you just munch, you put your mouth in the oh, scorpion and just it. stab and stab you from inside your mouth. <laughs> it's not dead yet because you haven't bitten down yet. <laughs> I continue. <laughs> this is a weird taco. Fitz now just has a stick. No! He's going to be so upset! I mean... <laughs> I don't know what he was planning with this. His fault for not being here, I ate it. <laughs> Have you eaten it or are you going to... Oh, I ate the head. Hang on. Let me see if I can trick myself. Fitz, you're gonna have to kill him. <laughs> oh no. That's just a scorpion. I've deceptioned myself at 21, so I have no idea what I've eaten. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyone who's come down into the lower deck while Johnny's doing this runabouts will have noticed that the workshop that's set up in the lower deck, Fitz has been in the entire time. Yeah. As you've been walking around and you go to leave, you notice that there is this massive looking robotic arm that's just kind of sitting there. And as you sort of start to leave, you notice the arm is just sort of moving around on its own, and Fitz is just kind of standing there, sort of tinkering. Ah, there's a second scorpion on a stick, as he is uh, reverse engineered it. <laughs> I see it's a scorpion and a stick. 
Well, mm. you know what's good about Fitz not being here? I get to name it. <laughs> You've made a thing, he's, he's, he's been messing around with something. Yeah. Thinking right, it doesn't look finished. No. I was going to say fist, though, but that's taken. <laughs> it, it's it's not finished, whatever he's messing around with. But uh, it's missing like a bum. It's missing something. <laughs> it's, yeah. uh, you guys, are you going on to the top deck as the ship comes down to... I was always on the top deck. No, I'll stay down here. Top! <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know what that face was that went along with it. Uh, so the, the, the airship comes into the bay. Uh, Calm down. There isn't too. There, there's, there's a bit of a shake as the whole thing sort of lands cool. back in the water, and then it starts sort of sailing a bit more. Uh, you guys. <laughs> Continue. Sorry. You guys start sort of coming closer into the docks, um, and you notice there's a few different ports you could probably pull into. Do you have any, crew, this. any Port crew? number uno. You just point that one. Yeah, I want that one. And so you guys sort of start heading off to one of the fines <laughs> of the docks and sort of start moving up and you pull in closer to this, the side of this vessel and some of the skeletons come and stand at the side of the ship. No, 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 get down, get down, get down. I think you're cool. Sort of okay, cool, cool, Inside, cool. not inside <laughs> down. They so sure to. They all, they all, to me. They all wander downstairs. <laughs> um, as you guys are standing on the side of it, the on the front of it with Falco, so I'm looking majestic. <laughs> a few guys like I just looking at you, uh, fucking the, cock. <laughs> you guys notice as you guys are slowly coming in, some people at the on the docks sort of been running around, looking like they're getting ready for like some ropes or something to be thrown up or thrown down to you guys. It's, no need, good citizens. As, as you I'm always them. strapped on. <laughs> some, of them, some of them look kind of confused at each other as the boat comes to a sort of a stop in the docks and they're sort of like looking up at sort of because basically you've got your ship is up here and the dock part is down here. <laughs> and some of the guys are sort of standing there sort of waiting for something to be thrown to them. I'm gonna jump off. <laughs> You're just gonna jump off. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna jump off. That's Dicks. a power move. <laughs> you have to tell me what my thing is. We should be pretty good at that. Ten. Yeah. Don't monks have um, better fall as well? No, yeah. it's acrobatics. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Oh, ten, so sixteen. So Theo just goes does a flip and then lands next to the uh, two guys who are sort of waiting for a rope or something to be thrown to them and they go, Oh uh, Is one of the pieces of wood on the dock break? No, it looks like it's quite a well kept. Oh, oh you you wanna put the okay, I'll grab the piece a piece of wood that's nearby and just like slam onto the side so it'll run down. Oh, you. There isn't a piece of wood you guys can slide. You down. pull a piece out of the dock. You mean like a <laughs> rope to anchor it to the side? Yeah. Yeah. Yeehaw! So you just start throwing a rope. Yeah. Uh, you, you fling this, and Goose suddenly appears and tries to catch the rope, and the rope is about twice his size, so it just lands on him, and just you watch as this Goose is just basically pummeled Have by you a rope. ever tied up a ship before? <laughs> a walk over in time. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Goose, kind of underneath the thing, just kind of like. Uh, I hate the goose. Hello, friends. I'm talking to Shirto. I hate being the only mature one. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Shuo. You don't even have a head. Don't forget uh, your belt, Johnny. <laughs> oh, belt <Belto. laughs> <laughs> The two guys go high. Uh, He's the one with the arrow. He's got belts. Uh, are you a uh, 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 yes. Mm. What do you ask? Uh, the, one of the guys on the dock is talking to her. Uh, Captain! Fitz? <laughs> <laughs> Fitz kind of wanders out. Talk of to my captain. <laughs> Fitz walks out and sort of like, Hi. They want the to captain. Mates. Oh, okay. One second. And he sort of walks around the airship itself and finds some of the ropes and stuff and sort of finds the rope ladder and walks over to the side of the ship and just throws the rope ladder off the ship. So that's how you guys are getting on or off the ship at the moment <laughs> is a rope ladder. That's fine. And he climbs down the rope ladder and sort of goes, What's wrong? And the other guy looks at him and goes, Are uh, you the captain? And he goes, Uh, yeah. It's like, uh, you're registered. He's like, uh, no, but... Let me get my advice. <laughs> uh, I, I can just follow you and we can sign up and solve that whole thing, right? And the guy goes, yeah, no, that's easy enough. Uh, come with me. I'll talk to the dock commander. Maybe we'll sort that out. The NPC. Can you see the dude with the <laughs> check rolls? Yeah, please. <laughs> he is I'll, the captain. I'll get you my vice captain who has the paperwork. Johnny! <laughs> <laughs> and this is like, okay, okay, my yeah, way uh, through it. <laughs> Cool, oh. and he sort of wanders and mutters a couple of things and sort of, they walk off. Can I just find another person and say, what city are we in? There's like a sign and you're asking the person. <laughs> you're, he's, we are in a new haven! What, what, what 
little city are we in? You're sort of talking to the other guy who's still standing at the dock area who looks right. like he's been cleaning up something. Turns back and goes, oh, we're, we're Rowan Bay City. Okay. More well, like fine. Rowing Bay. Oh my Ouch. god. You hear me throwing my voice? Oh, that no. sucks! Oh my god! <laughs> um, okay, thank you. <laughs> he goes back to sorting out the stuff that you're sorting out. Sweet, uh, see you later. I'm gonna go find some stores to spend my moolah. You should do a power move and convince people to high five you and then snap their wrists by high five. <laughs> <laughs> Women are powerful! Do you want to challenge me to an arm wrestle or as, four arms As Dio appear? and Monty start heading in to oh, the, the power power direction. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's official. Uh, it's official. Uh, official assault and rub, <laughs> walk of <Falcor>. course. <laughs> Falcor is with you at the moment. Are you yeah. going into the city hall? Uh, what are you feeling, buddy? Yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are like the Blues Brothers. Yeah. Awkwardly depressed. <laughs> Johnny, what are you doing? Uh, I am bringing my small group of skeletons to buy new clothes. Oh, no. <laughs> They are currently disguised. Please yeah, they're me. wearing my clothes as yeah. Delto, Sherto, yeah, that's right. the, the, the skeletons will get a few bits of confusion from people as you sort of wander into the city, but not many people immediately react to this. They just have a bad complexion. Don't he's, he's, stare. He's covered them in a few hoods and stuff, so they don't immediately... <laughs> I'm going to follow up. behind just in case panic uh, ensues okay. until I get to near the university. To be fair, around. I'm wearing fair. a skull. <laughs> Yeah. Are they scared of me or the group? <laughs> as as you start with hitting it, some on. people... Holy shit, we look like a cult. <laughs> <laughs> Just put that together. They're all wearing robes and I'm wearing a crown. <laughs> that makes sense. This is going to make this next encounter so much more interesting. <laughs> so you walk Whoops. in and you've got the skull on your head. But yeah, and I've drilled two holes for my horns to go But through. you're still you walking in, right? Yeah. Cool. You walk in and you walk into the main part of the city and immediately a bunch of guards turn and go... Prince Johnny! <gasps> That's not me! I Look at the that. skull! <laughs> Prince? Johnny? <laughs> Johnny? In the Nanny. same sentence? We'll cut the next episode. <laughs> yeah, we can if you Good, want. I need time to repair myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually coming to a close to that. Johnny yeah. breaks the 4 4. Get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> this, this is where we end it. Uh, the, the Dragonborn has been following you guys as well. Yeah. And He's also wearing a robe. She. She. She, she, who she be, will she be following? She would have been following you. Okay, uh, she's walking with you and will hear this Prince Johnny statement as well and will sort of be like, huh. Thank you. <laughs> and until next time, we will deal with <laughs> this aftermath. I have to talk myself out of a bigger problem. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Fuck, yes. I hope I get as many 20s as I did today. I'm glad I stuck behind just in case panic <laughs> ensued. <laughs> That's why I wanted to check if you were walking looking like Johnny or something I, else. I like to think I have a shirt that says rolling probable cause. <laughs> <laughs> My god. Bye everybody. Bye. <laughs> I have to wave like Matt. No. <laughs> <laughs> this has been the uh, mental health. Simon, switch it! <laughs>